Wait, wait, Joe and I need to keep that four minutes to hash this out. So, so Joe, I am going to call when I feel like it is, calling. Whatever it is, I wouldn't wear, whatever it is, I wouldn't, whatever, whatever you're worried about, I would just forget about it. Whatever it was you guys were just talking about, I'd forget about it and just wait for whoever's going to click on the show. I know, but the thing so is, should we, we not have, do about it? If we have like reservations, we're, it's not going to, the magic's yeah. not going to happen, Ray. It's not. What magic? What's not going to happen? Well, the problem is, Ray, that we have a no apologies rule on the show, and right. Dave is in a position There's where nothing he really that you ought guys, to apologize. Listen, if you guys were both in jail for the past seven days, and they put the camera on at three o'clock, and you had four guests, the show would run exactly the same as if you were in jail for seven weeks, or if you guys were preparing every day for seven hours. It would be the same show. Not that, one thing would change. You know, so that's, that's, actually right. even, that's actually right. You know, I, I agree, agree with that. that. Okay, I agree, I agree with that. So we you. just got out so, of jail. I could just put everything aside and like, yes, just the fact and that then whoever shows. pops on, you just start asking questions and talking and it just, it just, it just works. It's like nature. This show is like nature. Welcome back to another episode of Fact or Freestyle. Where we uncover facts from BMX. And now we're going to find out what's going on. Let's see how far down this rabbit hole we go. It just rolls and happens. Whatever happens, happens, well, and there's nothing you can do. This is this okay. is how Ray is Ray to... a philosopher and what he says checks out. He's like transformed. Yeah. All right. Hey Josh. What's going on, guys? How you hey, doing? Hey Josh. Good. Hey Josh. Hey, what's that? Do you remember what's that Ryan? You? Do you remember? That's Oh, that's just one of my favorite riders doing one of his best tricks. I chopped this. <laughs> I chopped his head off because I think your head's right above it now. That, I think that's. I think that was you at the velodrome many years ago. That um, it, what is that? A green screen or what? How do you? Yeah, what you is just that? like put a. You, you just get a photo from your phone, and on the way or on the um Zoom app, you just put a photo behind you, basically. Ah, oh, I should do that. So, yeah, you should look. If I did it, you can do it. Josh White. Look at that. Hey, Josh, can you turn your phone so that we get your full screen? Because we're right now just getting partial. There you go. Perfect. Oh, oh, paneling in the back. That's some dope paneling. Look at that. There we go. What's going Man, on, guys? Josh, we have so much to ask you, but we you don't do. know what to say. Well, first off, welcome back. Welcome back to USA. And uh, welcome back to the writing scene, because we've heard rumors on the street that you're going to start writing again. Well, yeah, I want, I can't wait. Um, I, I'm just waiting. I'm trying to get my shoulder and rehabbed. I'm trying to rehab my shoulder. And it's so tricky. And oh my God, it's, it's, it's a lot more extensive than I thought it was going to be. I, I had my surgery in November and uh, I'm still only about maybe halfway there, 60% maybe, you know, okay. it's crazy. And um, you, do you have a good person that you're working with? Cause I, I can, I have a, a really great guy I've worked with. I highly recommend. I don't think oh. Josh White has a shitty doctor. There's just something about this guy that tells me he's not. No, yeah, he, no, he didn't exactly, hire right? a flunky. I, but I always no, come I've, from... got good, I've got good doctors. I got the I had the best surgeon in in all of Southern Oregon do, do my shoulder. So I, I have confidence that the procedure was done correctly. It's just it's up to me now. I, and I went through physical therapy, of course, and then all the follow ups. And and it's just you you can't rush it. You know you can't rush it. So it's just uh, in fact I was riding the other day and I just caught this little edge on this curb and just tweaked it and I, it was hardly anything and I was like oh my god I'm glad I wasn't actually in a skate park or something you know um so I just have to keep letting it heal and hopefully by you know another couple months I'll be able to get get on a bike and and start start doing something so okay, I can't wait that date down, I, I haven't even put my bike months. together yet I got my the GT finally sent me my bike you know my Josh White yeah. bike yeah. I haven't even put it together yet it's still really? in the box it's still in the really? box yeah <laughs> it's still the, it took them like a year to send it to me because they didn't have any in stock and so they said oh we'll send you one when we get an extra i'm like okay don't worry about it and uh it took them like a year and they finally sent it and i still haven't put it together so 
Uh, it's, it's pretty, um, uh, but I will, I'll do it. I'll get on it. <laughs> Did you get the hot pink one? No, <laughs> oh. no, it's blue. It's blue. blue I, I didn't want hot yeah. pink. Yeah. No, it's Dave already had, no, Dave had the orange one. Dave had an orange bike. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hot pink. Maybe that'll be next. Maybe that'll be but next. The blue, the blue also, I also think of, yeah, you, you did a lot on the blue bike. So I remember that for sure. You know, it's such a trip is that was so long ago. Chrome is illegal now. Chrome is what? Illegal. What do you mean illegal? The, like the chroming that was on those bikes back then. Yeah. By environmental standards, it's illegal now. That's why what? you don't see chrome. Is it yeah. really? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Environmental standards, like uh, the I don't, I don't get it. Is it bad for the environment? I, that's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's it's some toxic something or other. I got a buddy who's a machinist, and I was I was I was asking him about like something about chroming and he's like you cannot get that stuff anymore you cannot wow. get that stuff anymore well, that's why you don't see chrome bikes the, the, well also the kids these days they don't like the extra weight they think it's it's too they, that's why they don't even like paint on their bikes because they want it to be as light as possible <laughs> so, uh, yeah the chrome that's just extra weight you know heck, right. heck with that <laughs> weight we need. that's why they do the raw right no paint at all right that's why the they raw. do the raw it's stripped down man it's it's yeah. as light as possible baby yeah, that's funny. I've heard kids talk about it. They 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 look at every component on their bike and they go, how can I save weight on every, I'm like, wow, that's like how race car drivers think, you know, like, how can I save weight? But they're really yeah. into it. I think it's cool, though. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty smart. You know, I think it's cool. I never once thought about it. I had these big clamp on brackets and right. pegs and all <laughs> kinds of crap hanging off my bike. Never once thought about the weight. Yeah. <laughs> the problem that was like the, the age of the 40 Forty-five pound bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's silly, but yeah. So, so when did you actually get back? How how long have you been back? Um, Ireland? like about ten days ago. Okay. For, for some, yeah. So and you were, um, yeah, you were there for how long? Two months. Two months. What yeah. What were you doing, Josh? Were you you were I I Ray tells me you were fighting. Like training for boxing, or, or I was something? doing some of that. Yep, that would because that's something that I had an opportunity to do back in the '80s. Actually, when I first left GT, um, I started training kickboxing, um, kind of more more regularly, and I joined a Thai boxing mm -hmm. gym. You know, and Thai boxing is a little different than what we would normally associate with kickboxing. You use knees, elbows. Uh, leg kicks and so it's a lot different and so I was like whoa and uh, they wanted to send me to Thailand and, and fight and uh, they were going to pay for my apartment and pay for my training and everything and I'm like really? oh my god that was a little bit much you know I I, I didn't have the not enough experience or self-confidence so I said no I don't think so and ever since then I was oh man I, I really regretted it I, I said I should have taken that opportunity and gone over there and just you know, just, just for the experience. So ever since then, I said, okay, as soon as I get a chance to go to Thailand, I'm going to go over there and train and, you know, and, and experience what I should have done earlier. And so it was just a bucket list item that I, I crossed off and it was awesome. So I didn't even want to come back. Wow. That's <laughs> I'm awesome. planning my next trip That's already. Nice. So <laughs> yeah, you... I'm actually th thinking about my, I might even buy a condo over there. So um, really? we'll see. They're, they're, yeah, they're pretty cheap. So That'd be cool. That'd be super cool. That's like you go there and you 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 train. It's like uh, like when Rocky in four went to Siberia mm -hmm. to train. Yeah, right. Josh, we lost you. It's I don't really know. humid, but it's I love it. I love Thailand. You know, I've been to Taiwan, Japan, China, Macau, you know, from GT. I've been to all those Asian countries, but I never went to, to Thailand and, and that was oh my God. Trip of a lifetime. It was awesome. And did you so lose, like, did you lose all the weight before you went or did you lose the weight over there? Cause you lost, I, I, you lost, I lost it before pounds. I went. Yeah. That was one, one of the reasons I, that was one of my motivations for losing my, that weight was going over there to train. And I knew that if I was out of shape or overweight or carrying too much extra, extra weight or cardiovascular, you know, I've been working on my cardio a lot, you know, and, uh, Cause I'm eating chicken. <laughs> 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 Large Ray. What a good yeah. example you are. Is that but yeah, so I, I knew that because it was tough enough to train over there. I mean, it was I was training with professional fighters, you know, and and humid conditions, and and it was just brutal. I it was really tough, and so and and I was in 
for me, good shape. And I was still getting my ass kicked, you know, from the, from the heat and just the, 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 just training is just hard. I was so sore. Oh my gosh. Um, but I started, I started adapting and getting used to it just like anything else, but man, I hadn't trained in, you know, 30 years. I hadn't kicked, thrown a kick or hit a bag or done anything in so long, not 30, but probably about 20, over 25 years, but still that's a long time, you know, and you try to kick, pick back up at 55 and, oh, Boy, it kicks you out. You know, the main thing that hurt was my feet are, you know, I'm kind of a tenderfoot. I always wear socks and shoes everywhere. I never go barefoot anywhere. Mm. And so when I was training, all the skin was coming off the bottom of my feet. You know, like it was just because my skin is so soft that I was, I had massive blisters and I had to wrap yeah. up my feet in bandages and it was just, oh, this bleeding. And it was, it was brutal, man. I was like, damn, I didn't expect that to be one of my challenges, you know, <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, that's, I was, I'm a tenderfoot. I, I got to go barefoot more often, man. I, I, oh God, it was embarrassing. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> now you got, now you got, you got, you got to toughen up. You got to punch, you got to punch trees. Yeah. You got to condense your bones. Yep. They kick banana trees over there. There's banana trees that have soft, there's the trunks are soft and they kick them with their shins and, and to toughen up their shins over there yep. it's pretty awesome oh uh, yep. we lost eddie maybe because we didn't welcome him hopefully he'll come back oh Viola was, connecting. Viola was i'm sorry talking. you know somebody else start talking no, I, no, I, I, i'm I, just I, kidding I, josh no this is great <laughs> i just i invited uh eddie just released his book and i wanted him to mention that and also gail webb is opening they're, they're dedicating a bike park to her so i wanted him to talk a little bit about that oh cool and also the whole theme of this show is welcoming josh back to america and welcome him back because we don't want you to leave I, I mean i get it you get a condo there you stay there but you know you got us to come back so you can yeah yeah start riding and and whatnot I and know, i'm serious I, 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 i'm serious about wait. the guy that i'm that i work with because he's more it's not like um physical therapy but i had a shoulder that i separated actually I didn't even do it biking i did it boogie boarding in mexico and it oh. took two years and i still you know i did my shoulder two different times once on skate park and once doing flatland and this last time I did it, it took two years to heal and it just never got completely right. And he just, wow. he's like, he does chiropractic work, but it's, I would say a little bit more on the alternative, you know, Ashland style, if you know what I mean. Like you, right. you kind of have to be open to that, um, but he's amazing. And he, he really could maybe help support that, that process. For I got an idea. Why don't you guys both go and get the psychic surgery that, that Dave had on his knee? <laughs> Psychic surgery? Psychic surgery, Dave, what's that? Dave, oh, Ray hasn't heard story. that story. <laughs> this is incredible. I had psychic surgery I'm on my knee. I'm kind of busy right now. I might not want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead anyway. <laughs> go ahead, let's hear it. I, I hurt my knee uh, at SeaWorld, and uh, I twisted my knee, and it swelled up, and I uh, went to the doctor, and typical doctor said, well, just take ibuprofen and rest it for six weeks, put a brace on it, and come back, and we'll see if you have to have surgery. Well, my mom... Uh, she's let's just say very interested Was, in did not all, support that advice. No, she didn't. She didn't discount it. She just also wants to add other possibilities. And her suggestion was, we go down to this pretty shady part of San Diego and go to the psychic healer. And I'm like, <laughs> did they sacrifice I'm, a chicken while they were yeah, doing it? And I'm literally, I'm like 19 years old, Josh. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, mom, come on, really? She's like, I'll pay for it if you just, you know, are you open to going down there? So I went down there and we go to this <laughs> little room and it's literally like, it's a pretty, it wasn't Tijuana, but it felt like TJ in a sense, like in the shady <laughs> little, it's shady little town. All right, go to this it house. Was pre Tijuana. And, and I lay on the bed and this woman comes in, older Hispanic woman, and she, uh, I still had my jeans on and everything. And she starts to kind of manipulate her fingers on my, on my knee and does this whole thing. And I'm just laying there like, okay, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> and I get up after about 20 minutes and I felt like wiped out. I felt like, I, I don't know, like I was, I was, I had some kind of procedure and they told me don't eat many meat, uh, for two weeks, take these herbs and, uh, and just rest. So I did all that and I drank this tea and took these, these supplements, didn't eat meat. And um, I went back to the doctor and they checked my knee and they're like, yeah, you're good. You can go back to um, physical therapy and you should be good. So in the back of my mind, I really don't know, but hey, I didn't have to have surgery. So whatever happened, 
was supporting what I needed to have happen. You were smoking a lot of pot back then too, weren't you? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe yeah, that could be it too. I just canceled yeah, that helps, story. But. It, it helps you were young too. It, it, you can heal a little easier when you're younger. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have to test this by going now. But but also when we shared the story before, it was Vic Murphy that was on, and he went to some psychic person that he went know. to a he went to a uh, to a chiropractor. Yeah. About his back, and the guy looked at him, and he goes, he 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 had him like walk or stand. He goes lay down, and he grabbed his ankle and went pow, popped his ankle, and that was the last time Vic ever had back problems. When he talked about it, he was like, it would just change his world. He was like, oh my, because he had back problems like from when he was young, when he was like a teenager, he had back problems. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna message Fiola because I I, I want to know what happened to him. All right. It's gone. While while, no. while you're doing that, we'll cut over to our uh, Rob Lowe quote. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard today's going to be a really good one. Today's a spectacular one. This is Factor Freestyle from May 21st. Now, don't be leave this one whenever, Be I'm funny first. whenever possible, even if some people don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> the quote. I think is what you're supposed to not get so, and, and so this is going to be the theme oh josh so great. i i had a great idea and i want to see if you think this is also a great idea there's going to be a bike show in dayton called the buckeye bike show and mike buff xavier brian blyther and mike d are going dave this year is unable to make it and uh in order to not disappoint Dave's fans, oh, I got a, uh, a stamp to give out Dave's autograph. And you, Dave isn't sure that this is the greatest idea ever. I think it is the greatest idea ever. What do you think about this idea? Uh, uh, an autograph stamp? Yes. <laughs> you mean like a... a a sticker or like a, a rubber stamp a rubber stamp oh uh, <laughs> uh, exactly see joe <laughs> i think this is a good idea do you think it's a great a idea, idea? I'm not <laughs> is it a little egotistical like i don't no. want to come off as like hey i'm just going to send this guy with the stamp to stamp because Brian Blythe thinks is it's be egotistical i don't think it's egotistical do you think it would be ego would it be a deter Josh, do you believe that it would be interpreted as egotistical? Uh, and so somebody holds their hand out and then you just stamp their hand with the autograph? <laughs> well, the idea is that uh, at the autograph table, I will sit beside Brian Blyther. And as people bring their Haro stuff over to Brian, they get Brian's autograph. And then they have the opportunity also to get Dave's official proxy autograph. I know it'll make it perfect. If you just tell people Dave couldn't be here, he's in jail for 90 days and you're stamping it for him. <laughs> just 90 yeah, right. days. That's a, that's, that's, a that's, great? Idea. that's a great idea. Or you they could say you're in you're in Tijuana getting your uh leg Dave is having psychic that, sur that it, surgery. Okay, Joe, come so on. Under let's take those it off. narrowly <laughs> defined circumstances, Josh, do you think this is a good idea? Um I I guess so. Okay, I guess so. That's a that's a big no. Because Josh, yeah, exactly. Josh, Joe's gonna ask you to do it next, I'm sure. Once Joe starts, <laughs> when Josh starts riding, and, and Joe will go to all these events and like, hey, you want Josh White's autograph? I got this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah see? Well, every 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 guy can say yes or no. Dave has said yes three times already and is starting to I'm backpedaling suggest. a little bit. After you actually did it, because the thing is, Joe, you come up with a lot of ideas, but this one you actually went out and did. You have the stamp. This is this is really happening. Well, there you know was what? a it's... lot of ideas that I had that I have done. I know. I'm but not name saying... one that hey. I one idea that I had that I did. Dave, uh, black I fortune cookie. Out. There's something that you can do to figure this out. With that, <laughs> oh my god, 
do it like what I said about nature. Why don't you just let it happen and see what goes on? Let Joe go and do the stamp and then get the feedback. Okay. Are people going to be like, hey, that's really weird or wow, I really wish Dave was here. I love him. Um, tell him when you see him, I said hi. You might get a couple of those. You know what Let's I mean? see so, what Fiola says, because Fiola would be another good you know, feedback. All right, Eddie, on Eddie, what's your take on this? Uh, that's a negative. Eddie's probably got a stamp in his pocket right now. You do, you, you do not like this idea. Something's wrong with the world of internet up? here, dude. It's not, it's not personalized. There it's he is. Not, it's a sticker, and you can have a sticker of of Dave's, you know, uh, signature, but it's still not as personal as Dave actually signing it. Now, I don't know about buying a sticker that has Dave's name on it or of a signature that that like that, but I don't think it's personal. The whole reason of getting an autograph is to is it's because it's personal. It's this guy's it, having a stamp just doesn't do it for me. And I don't know if I'd ever want somebody's stamp. I sell stickers with my name on it, and and they buy them, but that's up to them. So um but to to be to have um now if you were giving these stickers away at a event that everybody josh is signing i'm signing and then dave isn't there because he can't be here's a sticker of dave's that's a great idea oh so Joe, okay well let me explain the circumstances under which under which this is happening hello xavier excuse me, Escobar. excuse me pardon me sir hello, i'm sorry, Pablo. I'm Oscar, sorry. what's up Xavier, what's up, bro? Hey, Large, that's that's not Oscar, that's Xavier. Well, silly. Is that, oh, was that Xavier. Josh? That's hey, was that Josh White? That is Josh, Josh White. White. Yeah, it is. What's up, Eddie? Oh, what's, hey, up, what's up, Zach? What's going on, guys? Good seeing hey, you. Josh, Josh, first off, I just want to say uh, welcome back from Thailand. Thank you know you. what happens in Bangkok stays in Bangkok. I sure <laughs> hope so. I yeah. sure hope so. <laughs> Make sure you get tested for all those STDs. Yeah. And I'm sorry if your girlfriend is standing next to you. Uh, just a joke. Just a joke. Yeah, no, I was careful. It was. You, it you was look. Fun. You look good, Josh. Thanks. Yeah, you, you look really good, Josh. Yeah. Hey, don't steal my line, Dave. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, hey, I just um, I'm just in the Call area, me, so I just wanted to say hi. You know. And, um, good you seeing know, you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to be here. I'm actually working on my um, my dad's old Honda. I just changed a radiator out, um, which was always fun. And I know you guys all know how to change radiators, right, Eddie? I uh, just did one the other day. There you go. <laughs> and um, but I just want to let you know I'm, I'm here. So if you have any questions or if I can throw in anything, I'm, I'm here to do that. All right. Perfect. Right. What's up, X? <laughs> So yeah, what kind of coolant? What kind of coolant you running in that thing, man? Yeah, let's uh, let's get let's well, do a little car talk. <laughs> Joe, write this down. This is gonna be good. This is O'Reilly. Yeah. yeah. Take a Just, sip first. Uh, pour some out for the boys that ain't here, and then tell us what it tastes like. Oh, uh, uh, you're pouring out the car. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know much about cars. Well, there is, there is a good green drink, and it's called a Scooby Snack. So if you ever go to a bar. Ask for a Scooby snack. You'll love them. Scooby snack. I never heard of that. Yeah. yeah. They can make stuff up. Well, they're, they're pretty tasty. So what's going on, you guys? What are you guys talking about? I heard Eddie what? talking about his book, I think. Is that out, Eddie? It, it, it's not out yet. Oh. Um, it but is you can order it, right? You can order it. You can order it. It's, uh, it's, it's quite expensive, unfortunately. Because we're trying to, we're we're, we're playing a, a deal on words and numbers. Um, not signed. It's thirty three dollars for the movie Rad number thirty three. Um, signed. It's forty one thirty dollars. It's forty one dollars and thirty cents. So it's uh, we're just Joe. But uh, we we've sold twelve thousand dollars worth of books so far. Nice. Well, I know I. Joe, do the math. How many is that? Joe, get your calculator out. Hold on, Joe's gonna figure something out real quick. He's good at this stuff. Oh, well, Joe, you you did order one last week, right? When we were on the show, did they yeah, actually? I ordered one on the. I ordered one on the show. Last you didn't just play it because Joe started to do it. Then his credit card was, or his, his address was on there. Two ninety two. Eddie left again. When we tell yeah. Eddie, there's no more Chrome bikes. He'll have to change up forty one thirty. 
Yeah, right. Uh, is that my internet? Yeah, that's, that's shit? great. Yes, it is your internet. That's <laughs> wow. Wow. Lots of pictures. I can tell. Wow. That's awesome. Well, there's the, so never doing a book before. I didn't know where I wanted to stick pictures in the book and I didn't want to take the time to, you know, like one chapter has this picture and that picture and this and that. And, and if in fact somebody wanted me to sign it on a particular picture, um, mm. you know, trying to find that page and do whatever, I just decided to stick every single picture smack dab in the center of the book. So mm. if nice. you wanted to find a picture, it's in the middle of the book. Josh, there you're in there. Um, what there, what the, book is this? This what? is this is when I was king. Wow, the Eddie Fiola story. No way. Awesome. And when can people ex start expecting the orders to be filled, Eddie? Uh, early June. We okay. we literally just got the shipment of books, um, and we wanted to make sure that the quality was right, and it was exactly what I wanted, and it turned out awesome. Um, I don't have the other piece here, but there's also a, a, a box set that you can get. It comes in a box that's uh, um, engraved with your name. Um, it costs more. It's all this other stuff. It's these little perks that if you wanted to get the, the full set, you know, you get a hat, you get a t-shirt, you get the box, you get it. It's kind of cool. But uh, the book itself is only 33 bucks and you can get it on Amazon. You can get it uh, through uh, uh, Indiegogo. You can get it at Rad Designs, 1986. So yeah, that's where we got it, right? Joe, that's where did we you, finally found it. <laughs> yes. Did you spell yes? Did they spell Schleckweg right in my part in the book? Did they spell Schleckweg right? So you know <laughs> no, I, for I, while my kid I, takes I, it to school, I want to make sure my part's there and my name's spelled right because Schleckweg's really hard to spell. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he just I'm put hoping, Raybo or I'm, Large. Oh, Ray. Okay. All right. That's yeah, yeah. good then. Okay, cool. Hey, no, hey, hey Ray, I think your book should be next on the Publication. Oh yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I could see like Eddie Fiola's book and then my book right next to it. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I think Eddie, they help each other out in sales. You know, Eddie, what happened to the original title? It, weren't you gonna call it "My Life Behind Bars"? Yes, I was gonna call it "Life <laughs> My Life Behind Bars," um, <laughs> but then then Brian Skura called me up and says he was going to give he was gonna call his book "Life Behind Bars." And, oh. and so I said, you know, whatever, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Did he send you a cease and desist though? He didn't send you a cease and desist. <laughs> no, no, only, only Bob Harlow. Only Bob Harlow did that. So. Um, oh, right. oh, that's right. For the yeah. silhouette. Hey, Joe, yeah, for the the silhouette. silhouette. Oh, that's nice cool. Life, life behind ice cream bars. <laughs> it was the same idea. And I didn't get any letter. So... <laughs> Eddie, what kind of what kind of uh, events are you going to do around? It? Are you going to go and do some like go to New York, go to London, do any big events like that, or are you just going to sell it through uh, local it's events? It's all you know the the bike shows. There's a huge bike show coming up on June fourth. Um, yeah. The uh, what is it? Uh, the BMX okay, bike Society. Show. Yeah, the Society Show. Um, I'm going to bring it there. Uh, there's uh a possibility we have a a friend that owns a uh brewing company alosta beer uh we might be doing a book signing there uh, we might be showing the movie rad uh and uh yeah just just simple i'm not i'm not planning a whole bunch of stuff you know well, what i thought about like i just saw bob was doing an event in the uk on june 15th 16th and 17th in south sea and it's an old school like SC, I guess, is sponsoring it. I don't know. It might be something to consider. You could, you could, you could get a food truck <laughs> and show up outside and sell your books. You know, he's Eddie Fiola. He doesn't have that food show. You, you know what I could do? I could, I could dress. He doesn't up have in a to, yellow, but it might be could, fun to. Okay. I could dress up in a yellow GT uniform as Eddie Fiola and sell books as Eddie. <laughs> I think people would go for it. We look a lot alike. I look <laughs> tall, yellow too. Hey Josh, I got a question for you. What's that? What's the deal with the GT bike that has your name on it now? What do you mean? It's it, it's just uh, it's just a heritage bike. They just wanted to replicate the bike that. Uh, remember the the bike that I rode when I first 
got on the cover of freestyle and it was it was blue with white components so they just wanted to do like a, a replica of that in a 29 inch and i said okay go ahead and so they threw my name on it and and that's it cool are they kicking you back anything yes yes wow in fact that's what paid for my trip to thailand honestly that's even better. Really? Huh? they're paying them in eddie fiola books no, I, I get you, you get a uh, you get a same with Dave, you know, Dave's got the same deal I do, you know, with the heritage edition. So you get like a little percentage of I don't know what the numbers are, but you get a percentage of each bike. Yeah, no, so hey, it's, that, it's not a big uh, we percentage tried to do that back in the day. And and it worked for a little while. But, you know, uh, Richard Long um, took advantage of us being yep. young kids, not knowing anything. And, yep. uh, you know, we didn't make. We made good money for what we did and what we did, but we didn't make as much money as we should have selling the bikes that we sold. I agree, especially you, man. You had the biggest name, and I, you know I, I couldn't believe they didn't do do more with your name and market it more and have more signature stuff. They they, they missed a huge opportunity. Man. Richard was really he was I mean he was a shrewd businessman, but he was borderline just greedy, you know, and he <laughs> he really was. He 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 really could have shared the wealth a little bit more i mean and he, he just squandered your whole name i in my opinion i mean you had you were gt in my opinion and i just couldn't believe it you just sort of faded away over time and i'm like man that's such a shame you know yeah, it's guys funny is that you know the letter i got from gt when i started making my bikes um it said you know it said you know that i i'm okay i'm okay or they're okay with me selling only 250 bikes but what they didn't want to happen is that, and this is me talking to them, they said, we didn't want our name associated with your bike. And we don't want your bike associated anywhere where our name is. And I, I go, you understand that if you Google my name, GT shows up. But if you Google <laughs> GT Freestyle, my name shows up. You, you should have done the deal where it was just you and I working together, but- yeah. Like Michael Jordan, Nike, man, come on. It's got, it's yeah. like a, you know, I mean, come on. It's a no brainer. So, so supposedly they have new owners and they have a whole new regiment of, of doing things. And I had spoke to uh, Hans Ray and he says, yeah, they're looking at doing something different and I don't know what it is. And they haven't called me and they haven't talked to me or anything like that. But uh, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm all open ears. I I wish you and I Martin could get. Idea. I wish you and Martin could get involved with GT somehow again. You know, I, I really do. You guys, to me, are GT. You know, and without you guys, it's it's something's missing. You know. Yeah. Now, I have you know. ridden one of these twenty niners? Yeah, yeah. I I rode in a skate park. I got pictures on my Instagram account. Me, Aaron, out of a skate park in it. Yeah. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It, you know, I just, you know, I bent the rim a little bit, but I, you know, I just got to tighten up the spokes and yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that was when I weighed, oh my God, I'm, I'm 50 pounds lighter now. You know, I, I, I think I'd be even better, uh, but I can't ride right now because of my shoulder, but um, I think pretty soon here, it's going to be really good. I, I think I'll be fine. I'm, I'm 185 now. That's the lightest I've been in 30 years. So it's going to make a big difference. It's going to make a really big difference. And you're not going to ride a 20 inch Josh at all? You're going to stick to a big bike? Yeah, I have two 20 inches also. Yeah, okay. I, I have a Fueler and a, and a GT Performer and I and I, I love those too, but I kind of want to promote my bike. You know, I want to, I kind of want to ride the 29 to kind of get more pictures of it and get, get it promoted a little bit. I haven't done anything to help promote it. So, you know. Well, especially if you're making some money on it. Hey, you might Exactly. Well yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we wanted to have you back on too, to talk about it so that people can know. And obviously you know, we can spread the word however we can. Yeah, G this is GT the new doesn't do a very good job elite. of promoting it. They have it on their website, but they don't even mention my name associated with it. And my name's not even listed on the website at all. It just says a heritage bike. Uh, and you'd never know it was my bike unless you looked up close at it, you know? So that's yeah. a little disappointing, but um, I need to do my part too and, and get it out there and put more pictures on Instagram. And Can you uh, do it? Can you do a boxing right now? Can you take it out of the box right now? Because you haven't even taken it out of the box. That's a yet. great idea actually, because Just, this is the new liberal elite global BMX media. And so we are fully available to you for this Josh looks exclusive very unboxing. I mean, I'm serious, Josh, because like we had, we had Xavier's on. working on his car. You should work on your bike. It, exactly. Yeah. 
It's perfect. This is a great yeah, idea. Yeah, but it's already the bike's already been out for almost two years. It's not like it's brand new or anything. So it's what? Just, you, but you're right, saying but that it's the your website doesn't even have your name on it. We're going to you change that right now. <laughs> Eddie, what do you think of that idea? Isn't that brilliant? Come on, let's just get. It's a great idea. When I was I'm king. On, when I was king. <laughs> <laughs> it's your bike, Josh. <laughs> Go get it. Seriously. We're using as much social media as we can to promote ourselves. That's right. So, Eddie, I'm sure that they approached you with the same offer, but it just wasn't, you guys just couldn't come to a deal or what? I mean, I never, I'm sure that they never came to me. Not what? Once. Come never. on. No, no, they went, they went to Dave. They made a Dave bike. They made a Josh bike. They never once came to me. They never asked me. They never sent me any emails, you know, unless I really, yeah, no, nobody contacted me. I'm uh, surprised. They, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming because I have my own bike, but um you know you don't have your bike you're not manufacturing a bike um dave's not doing anything with a bike there he's not having anybody build a bike <clears throat> just because i have a bike and i wanted something with my name on it you know doesn't mean that gt still can't talk to me uh but they haven't you know nobody has, has tried so well Next time I talk to him, I'm going to ask him why. Because I thought I thought you and Martin basically just kind of turned him down. I just figured, oh, you guys must have not have come to a good deal, and and you just decided to you know to stay independent or whatever you know. And uh, but I'm. Is this? Oh the yeah, there it is. Oh no, that's. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> is this your? No, that's is that a bike? girl's bike. Eddie Fiola would be seen dead on. This I don't know thing. what that. That's pretty ugly. I don't know what that is. That's not his right, bike. Right, let's, let's, okay. Mine's so all blue. Fun. Keep looking. It's blue with white components, Joe. So, yeah, so it's the same bike except for it's blue, right? Yeah, and it, and it's two hundred fifty dollars more for whatever reason. Because <laughs> it's got Josh White's name on it. <laughs> that's true, right? <laughs> I don't see a blue one in the heritage. We need to see the bike. Go get the bike, Josh. Where's the bike? It's got to be it's right a, there. It's in. It's in a shed. It's all in a shed, locked away. So go, I'd have you to. You got the key, deep. Josh. I have a key. I have okay. the key. <laughs> what do we have to it's do? It's in the shed. Do you have a key? Do you have the key? <laughs> what else is in that shed? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the problem. It's the shed. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny all right. well, Aura did a bike but it was just a frame and fork with me and they did I think 250 250 of them and that was great and I appreciate it but I don't understand why Eddie doesn't have a bike so I know that will change it's so stupid it's it's, it's stupid I'm gonna ask Ben I uh, I'm gonna ask him what the heck man I I, yeah, I just can't understand I, I would just like to know his reasoning why they didn't want to work with us yeah you know maybe they just thought that you would turn them down or maybe because you guys had your little differences with the with the with your bike that maybe they just didn't didn't think you'd be receptive to it i don't know i it just boggles me yeah we we had come to gt a while ago you know before haro even came out with the the, the lineages and and, and all the retro bikes, we came to GT and said, hey, we want a bike that looks old, but rides new and with all new geometry. And we, we said all this a long time ago. And, and I guess Ben Ward was the guy um, in charge back. He says, oh, that'll never sail. No one wants any of that. So <laughs> have you heard the numbers for Haro and the lineage line and the I mean, it's it's unbelievable how many they've sold. Seventeen million dollars. Eighty million dollars. Eighty million dollars. Yeah. Eighty million. I didn't actually have the number. Million. I just knew that it was big. Yeah, and that's why Bob's it, out peddling shirts still at, at shows. Why? <laughs> that's that's weird. That's you know, here's a guy that sold a multi-million dollar company, and yeah. he's in, and he's selling a T-shirt, hand delivering it to you. That's yeah. just you know, and he's and he's owned. Uh, I like Bob, but I don't understand where, where his money went. I mean, because if I had that type of money that, I mean, like, uh, Gary Turner isn't selling t-shirts on the side of the, you know, at a bike show. Joe told me he bought Bitcoin real high and lost it all. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, Ray. Maybe, maybe, maybe Joe was kidding. Were you kidding, Joe, when you said Joe, that? Joe, Joe, did You're you kidding? say? These were unvalidated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that we're trying to piece together 
Oh, I wasn't okay. prepared to discuss my findings on the Bob, show yet. Bob's going to have a stamp next, stamping posters. We we would like Stop. to have Bob on the show, so we have to be... What? Xavier has his own bike, dude. Xavier's got his own. They'll give anybody a bike. Yeah, you got the and slow they, they ride. They ask Eddie Fiola, but they got, they got Xavier? <laughs> hey, I know how to There's do some it. There's kind of scam going. That's how, how are your bikes... Bike marketing is everything and you know you have to look into coding um and what's the other stuff algorithms that's how they decided <laughs> that it was good to have my name on that bike you get xavier gets more hits on the than eddie fiola when they punch in bmx algorithms <laughs> eddie how are your bikes doing now though you i mean you've done you've done a couple of runs on them we sold out. They um, sell out. They sell out every time. Yeah, the problem is, is that now, I mean, because they're made overseas, um, you know, this whole COVID deal and the price that it costs to get them here um, in containers and now bikes uh, from overseas are costing, you know, three and four times as much as, as yeah. they normally would. Right. So I don't know if we're going to be doing another run anytime soon. Um, and that leaves a door open for GT to maybe do something. But... <laughs> they're busy. They're I, heard, able... I, I heard they're busy with those Josh White bikes, though. No. Yeah. Hey, hey maybe Ray, should... why don't you and I partner up with a Raybo branded? We'll get GT bike. to make it. No, I think Ray should be Ray should be Eddie's agent, and Ray should just call them and yeah. say Ray look, should negotiate the deal. Ray should negotiate the yeah. deal. You got, Eddie, you gotta call me up, man. You gotta call me up when you're doing these deals. I'll teach these guys a lesson, dude. Ray, you know? will, Ray will get you the best deal, and and GT will feel so good about it at the end of the day. Yeah. They'll be laughing and going, "We you'll just be got... you'll be Eddie Fiola again after I'm done with them." Yeah, the king is back. We can I'll do teach it. Him the a king lesson. is back. You know, the Don't problem call to you know, come back. I've been here for years. I'm, I'm you know, no longer a young fuckers. kid who doesn't understand what's going on in the business world. And, and now, because I know I don't want to be taken advantage of, um, maybe that's why they don't call. You know, I'm sure that Joss got a great deal and he's good with the price and everything, but I'm sure it's he's worth a lot more than what they're paying him. Yeah, I, I wasn't, I didn't do it for the money, but yeah, I'm, you know, I just, yeah, it's, I he's didn't, so it's excited like, about it. He keeps the. Um, he's so excited about his deal. He keeps his bike in his shed. He hasn't <laughs> bopped yet. You think well, Josh he, has, he, has, he has an opportunity to share it with twenty six <laughs> subscribers. Twenty seven subscribers that we have now. Twenty seven. You, you can actually share with twenty seven subscribers on YouTube right now, Josh. And you're denying this. Come on. Just go what, get your what do you want me to? You want me to go into the shed and then unbox no. my bike? No. Yeah. Yep. No. Yeah. That's no, exactly what we want to do. He's talking on the phone here. No, just yeah, pull it out it. and just look. We'll just. We can't even we'll find a picture on the week. internet. Go get the bike, Josh. <laughs> and Josh go to the. Go. You had it up. I mean, you just got to go to the next bike. You had it on the website, but um. It's yeah, just looking out of the shed now. It's Josh, just you don't want to go out to that shed. Come I don't. Oh, the weather's the nice. Here. It's not raining in Oregon. It's a beautiful day He's out. Have to move the lawnmower, the grill, the trampoline. There, there's spiders the out there. Stuff. There's all, spiders all the out there. Spiders out there. I really think it would be a great idea, Josh. Uh, He's probably got uh, an Eddie Fiola sticker on. He doesn't want us to see. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't unbox it and hold the phone at the same time. I can't. I don't have it. I'm not talented enough to do that. Oh, that, will make, that will make great content. It would make great content. We'll just see how well you can manage that. Maybe you just have to <laughs> balance the phone. We're here for you, Josh. We're here to support you. Xavier. <laughs> Xavier will have great insight on this because he's working Xavier on Xavier looks like he's shooting a Beastie Boys video. I'm getting I'm getting car sick watching Xavier move around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I have the best <laughs> Xavier story. Xavier, you remember when we were in Germany the first time we did the reunion show? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have a story that I wanted to share. The time that we were in Germany, yeah. and we were, the first time we did the horror reunion show was 2009. Yeah. And I had done like two, two runs of my tricks and I had the whole rest of the show to do. And I went to do one trick and my coaster Fine. break... I forgot to put the bolt on. I, I didn't tighten enough and the bolt came out and my coaster brake slipped doing a backwards cherry picker. 
And I was so bummed. I was like, oh my gosh, I just flew all this way. I got to do like two tricks and now I can't finish the show. Xavier ran out there, like grabbed my bike. And I don't know how you got it fixed, but you like pushed the coaster brake back, put a bolt in there. And within the next time I had to do my run, like Brian went, then Wilkerson went, Dominguez went, then I went, my bike was ready. So thank you for that. Like, that was amazing. I don't know how you pulled it off. Team manager. Now, can you just get Josh to go get his bike for me? Because that's, that's yeah. How would you pep talk Josh to do this? I can uh, basically I would talk about the algorithms and <laughs> make sure that he understands that every time he says, "Look, he's working, moving." He's working, he's working. Keep going, keep going, next man. See, basically, what's happening is right now. Every time you guys say GT, all of your uh, iPhones yeah, are picking up on. <laughs> And it knows. What's that, Ubu? What's that? So, yeah, every time you say PT. <laughs> this is great. We're going to the shed. We're in the yeah. shed. Oh, look at that. That wasn't that hard. There he is. He has an exit. Yeah, an exit. Shed. Shed. Whoa, what? That's a shed? Look at that. I thought it was in a box. That thing's ready to go. That's no, a no, huge shed. That's, is it on? that's the 20 inch. That's his 20 inch. Because he's got a couple. These are my twenty-inch bikes. This Lord, is my Lord fueler. Larry doesn't know the difference between six inches and twenty inches. Neither does <laughs> That's how we stayed married so long. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 look at those tires. Oh, oh. This is the this is the unboxing. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Eddie would throw that bike in a bonfire. You don't want to see that shit. Oh, Tell him, Eddie. Eddie, I'm sorry you have to go through this. They're doing this just to piss you off. Oh, look at that. That's a Josh. Look at that. Josh has his own bike just sitting in a box. He we'll have Bill do his bike next. Don't worry, Ray. Oh. Trying to jo see Josh, I'll give you 400 for that Eddie, bike. Eddie, Eddie if, if, if Eddie came out with a bike, if Eddie kind of had a bike, I would buy it. That that's I'm I was a fan of his before I was a teammate and you know I would buy an Eddie Fiola bike, you know, <laughs> GT it has to be GT. Oh though. wow, that's awesome. Because that's oh what because that's how it, that's how it has to be. But wow. I'm not going to take the bike out of the out of the out of the box. It's just too much of a pain. It's all zip tied together. That'd be a huge project. I'm saving that for a rainy Sunday. Okay, so for, for those listening to this show or watching this show to be continued, we will get the unboxing so of To Josh be continued, Clark. yeah. To be we'll continued. do it next time. Fiola, that poster was made of all the pictures that were in the book. Is that how you did that? Yeah, so I I, so cool. I couldn't put in all the pictures okay. in the book or else it'd just be a thick yeah. book. <laughs> um, so I, I made a poster that had every picture I wanted to put in the book and, and we're able to make a collage out of it. And, and uh, I think the poster is going to sell more than the, the book yeah, because the it's, poster. it's really cool. How much, how much are you going to ask for the posters? What, what are they selling for? I think they're 40 bucks. 40. It should be 41. Oh, well, yeah. Right. 41, 30 or maybe 33. I'm not sure. We're uh, $33. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That they, that looks so cool. I didn't realize it was pictures that made it. Where, where do you get that shirt Super you're wearing, cool. Eddie? Where, where do you get that uh, Fiola shirt? That is a Rad Designs 1986.com. Really? Yeah. Maybe you should pull that website up again, Joe, because that seems like a good resource. Yeah, Eddie, last it. week, last week I told Joe to go to that website, and he thought that I was pranking him. He thought that I was making this website up. He's what like, "This is, is not Eddie Fiola's website." I go, no, "What is the name Fiola's of it?" Site. It's Rad actually... Designs, nineteen eighty-six. All right. Oh, it popped up right away. Oh, it popped up because you've been on there a lot now. Have you ordered <clears> a lot of stuff? I think Josh was <laughs> ordering shirts. I've been ordering a lot of things. Yeah, very cool. Very yeah, cool. Martin's got some stuff on there. I got some stuff on there. Oh wow! Bill, Bill Allen's got some stuff. You know, we got the book. We got some skateboards. Okay, order a shirt from Josh and send it to me. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll we even order a shirt for who? Josh wants one of those red shirts that Eddie had on. You, you just, want one of I, the, what size? 
I wore your old shirt yeah. out, Eddie. You know, remember Eddie, your shirt that you had that was black and white with a, a picture of you doing an air? Yes. I wore that out. I actually well, wore good. holes in it. I wore it so much, I wore holes in it. That's Do you awesome. want a large? We'll get, we'll get you another shirt. <laughs> I used to wear it to the gym all the time. It was my favorite shirt. I large, yes. Yeah, so I'm not extra large anymore. I'm large now. <laughs> all right. Okay, don't show your address. Don't show your address, no, Joe. No, I won't. I have you to can drop your address. address. What, Dave, text me your address. Okay, I'll text you right now. Yes. No, tomorrow. Well, I didn't know if you wanted to like continue with the show or if it, you just want to. Is red the color? That's the color? You can get any color you want, I'm sure. But oh, what color do you want? What, yeah, what colors do you have? It only came in red. Oh, all right. Well, that one only comes in, I guess it only comes in red. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. We can make you anything you want. You just tell me no, and I'll I'll, I'll send you whatever you. <laughs> now that looks good. I like red. Yeah. Okay, I just texted you my address. He's been rad oh, since God. the eighties. Joe, I just texted to Ray too. Now Ray has my address. I have your address for when you sent oh, me that. What was I thinking? Condom, the condom and the penny. Oh. You live in Oregon. I Google mapped your house. You were taking out the trash on the street view. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Add to cart. <laughs> no, I already clicked the buy with Apple Pay. Okay, good. So let's uh, let's get back to the full screen. Joe loves to should have we, the screen. Should we check on Xavier to see what if he's pouring fluids in the radiator? Yeah, yet? where where are you at, Xavier, with this process? I'm just but I'm just buttoning up everything. Okay. As you can see, I got the, the front bumper on now and I've already filled fluid. Did you I put your blinker fluid. fluid in? I put the blinker fluid in and the um headlight <laughs> the headlight belts I adjusted. Yeah, the headlight belts. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Hey, just so you guys know, I, I bought a place in Wales. I'll be opening it up on um um not ebay but what's the other one Air, airbnb oh yeah that's Air, airbnb, airbnb yeah so if anybody needs to go to wales i'll have a place out there soon so, so joe it's so funny because i did the same thing can you pull up airbnb what? as well what you Where's did wales, you at? wales uk oh it's really nice. yeah it's, it's pronounced wales wales wales, wales. And that's, I'll text you. The, I'll text you the address, Joe, to put in there, or actually just the city. Hey, so um, well, I got all you guys, uh, well, no, the I have city, all you guys on the um, on the um, TV here, and I'm, I'm sure there's got to be two million people following right now. Like three um, million. Three no, million. like okay. twenty-seven. Yeah. I just want to throw out. I hope I'll see all you guys at the um, 2022 old school BMX reunion in Woodward, Tehachapi. Pova and I are going to do another amazing job. I feel like we do a good job with this thing. And um, this year we're going to honor uh, Mike Buff and RL. So I'm getting them both together. They'll both wow. be there. Um, we're also going to do a couple of legacy awards. And this is the first time we're going to give one to Gail Webb. And I know you guys all know who Gail Webb is, especially Eddie. She's probably standing right next to him. Yeah. Hi, Gail. And, and um, we're also giving one to the Duke. And um, I spoke to him last week and he's all excited. So the Duke and Gail Webb will be there together. You know, it'll be a pretty awesome um, event. So I hope you guys can be there September 2nd through the 4th. And uh, it'll be awesome. And it's Xavier, cool. Duke. That, that came up on our Are last... you talking about John Dowker, the Duke? No. No, Dana, Dana Duke. Dana Duke. Got it. He, he was Oakley. the Duke from Oakley. The original. The, original. the, the OG. So I he was John Dowker, the Duke ABD. The yeah. ABD Duke. Hmm. Never heard of him. Yeah, never heard, never heard of that Duke. <laughs> okay. Heard of Mar, Marmaduke. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Xavier, we had um, last show, there were some current concerns about how tricky it is to get in the old school event oh, you know you have to send oh, a photo you have you to send your you know promise to your first kid i can't even get stuff. invited yeah so i thought, I thought Xavier you, would invite me and i can't can you share in. you share the reality of that because i think there's some misconceptions out there well the reality is 
And I'm really sorry about this, Ray, but you had to get at least a first place. Even if mine were a novice, you had to have a first yeah. place one time. I got plenty of first places. <laughs> it's just not in freestyle. I was the beatbox champ of King of Prussia in 1984. So the there you go. Of... <laughs> I, I know. You know I know. I mean? the king. If that don't get me in, nothing will. Well, <laughs> you got to bring your chicken and peat recipes, and then you can get in. Uh, so, so will you pull up Airbnb? For 40 yeah. years and older, you got to be, you got to be an old school BMX rider. Um, super fans are good also. We don't mind that. Um, but we try to sell out. To, we offer it first to the old school riders. And then once we have that full, then we go on to, you know, super fans. And um, it, it's, we usually have about 300 people there. We sell out every year. It's pretty, pretty amazing. And it's very reasonable. It's, um, this year it's going to be 120 a person for a three day weekend, which is actually going to be a four day weekend because it's on Labor Day. And this year we're doing something different. Woodward is going to allow people to stay Sunday night if they want and then leave Sun or Monday morning. So that's kind of an option that you have. You know, obviously, if you're staying on Sunday night, it'll cost you an extra probably 150 bucks for the night or whatever. But something else they want to do, they're talking to us, is they want to open up their cabins that they usually rent for all the kids during summer camp. And they want to see if they can rent a few of those out to people. So there'll be people hanging out, you know, where the dirt jumps are, where the street park is, um, all Enterprise, all those places um, during the night. So that's an option that's going to be coming up also. So now anybody can go. There's actually, if you go to our Instagram at OSBMXR, um, I think it's the original, it, Pova created it. Um, he puts up our email addresses. And um, once our email addresses are on there, if you want to go, just send us an email, tell us who you are, tell us what you want to, you know, why you want to be there. And uh, we'll get you an invite sent out to you guys. So uh, when you say email, you want you want to find the email on the Instagram, right? So Joe, yeah. you're on the, on the yeah, website. Yeah, that's the website. Yeah, the website actually got um, jacked up last year and it got destroyed. So we're having to rebuild it again. Okay. So, that's, so that's, here. That's the wrong one. It's OSBM official. Official. Yeah. Okay. And the so, email is if you go to the you post, just... you may find an email address somewhere like click on yeah, that one. Uh, more info to come. No, not on that one. Maybe it'll be on, maybe it's on the other one. I don't Pova said he was putting our email addresses up there. So hopefully, okay, hopefully so we could that. just then you could send a message to this also, and um you'll get them. But um, yeah, last year RL was there. That was he had a really good time. His first time there. Well, it's first time being almost anywhere lately. Um, but it's been a it's been a good little ride for RL. He's been enjoying that. And uh, Mike Buff has been out quite a bit, but he's more on the big bike scene with Todd Lyons and the um, life, you know, the um, SC bike life. But yeah. um, this is going to be more the uh, get out there on your BMX bike. You know, we all get out there. We all ride. I know, Josh, you've been there. You went to our event and um, mm -hmm. everybody just has a great time. It's it's not like people are all running up to you. Oh, I need your autograph. You know, it's not like that type of thing, um, but it's um, just a fun time to ride and, and learn new tricks and see what you can do. And the foam pit is always fun. Eddie is always in the foam pit and doing flat. <laughs> um, Nori. Josh, weren't you going to go last year? You were really close to going last year, right? Yeah, I just I, I can't remember what happened, but what what got in the way, COVID or something? But I oh I yeah, can't COVID. Remember. No, maybe it was the year before. I think it shut down because one year it shut down. Yeah, I was gonna go. I had my shirt, my I paid my thing, and then it got delayed and canceled and rescheduled, and then I can't remember what happened. Did did they ever end up having it? I can't even. I have no idea. Yeah, 2020 did not happen. It got pushed forward to 2021. We did it last year. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I missed it. You're probably in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Viola, can you talk a little bit more about Gail Webb's? Uh, so the park is opening. Are it already opened, or where, where are we at with it? 
It, it hasn't opened. They broke ground. Um, it's uh, late um, July that it's going to be open. Um, but uh, they just did their grand opening or their their uh, ceremonies to uh, you know the uh, breaking ground. Breaking ground. Got it. And so, what's gonna what's gonna be there? Because I think we talked about it before, but it's a pump so track, right? The Velo Solutions pump track. Mm -hmm. and skate park um and a uh not a skate park it, it's it's the the pump track uh is going to be larger than the temecula valley skate or pump track and there's also a uh mountain bike training facility area where there's there's wooden berms with dirt trails and dirt landings with uh wooden jumps and uh it's uh, probably um on 20 acres Wow. So, and uh, where, where is it located? Uh, it's going to be in Menifee. Which is where? I, I, uh, Menifee like, is, if you were to, you know, it's in between San Diego and LA. It's uh, Temecula area. Uh, on the 15 then? On the 15? Yeah, is right off the, the 15. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm so glad that they're doing that. Yeah, yeah. So she is too. She's, she's stoked on it. And uh, right now, Gail is in Mammoth. Uh, there's going to be a huge uh, motocross event that happens every year in Mammoth. And she's out there taking photos. She likes to get there early. Um, and uh, yeah, last year, oh, she, she's only told a couple people about this. But last year, she got there early. And she was helping out some people um, put the trophies together. As she was putting the trophies together in this um at this warehouse on in this 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 parking lot area uh she had noticed that there's these tree trimmers these arborists that that came in and they have the man lift right and they go up into the trees and and they cut them down and then they hook the the branches up and it slides down to the the wood chipper well she she got in awe of watching these guys do their job very um effortlessly right and they're just doing it and they're, you know, you've got the wood chipper going on and you've got this guy with the chainsaw up and the bucket and he's sawing stuff. And all of a sudden, the guy in the bucket starts to get jerked around because the rope got stuck inside the wood chipper. Oh, crap. And he gets jerked around and slices off his arm. No. And pulled out of the bucket. He hits the ground. The guy trying to hold the rope gets it wrapped around his legs and he gets pulled into the wood chipper. Now, he'll Gail, be fine. Gail, you'll be fine. Gail is watching this the, in the whole entire time and she's calling 911 and she gets the paramedics and, the, and the, the right people there just enough, just enough time to save the guy's life that he, he doesn't make it inside the wood chipper. Just as just one leg and the guy's one arm, but uh, she was there to see that whole thing. It was unbelievable. Yeah, so, um, but she, she saved these guys' lives. Wow. That's wow. crazy. That's yeah, that is unbelievable. Mess up any of this interview or anything, but. Well, I think it. I did not see that coming. No, I didn't either. But <laughs> Neither did the guy I thought it was going to be Gail. Gail got up in the bucket yeah. and took some amazing pictures. Yeah, I thought she was going to do something with the bucket too, but it's also just a testament of, of how amazing this she woman is. She saves two lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah, she's yeah. just, the stories continue. I mean, she was on and she was talking about how she used to go around um, in the neighborhood and when cops were giving the skaters and bikers a hard time, she would say, hey son, come on, it's time to come home. Doesn't matter who the kid was. She would just basically say it was their kid and take them basically take them away from the cops and i thought that was just amazing like her yeah you could do that back in the early 80s you can't yeah. do that now no you can't do that now no way <laughs> so ray tell us about that photo that you have there so that's josh white it's a chrome bike but chrome has been outlawed is that true is is chrome now outlawed because of the environmental issues because joe has some some say on that that he he thought that was the case eddie do you know that I have no idea. I thought I I I I know that you can't get stuff chromed here in California all that easy. And if the, the chrome you do get, it's not very good. So I mm. I 
there are some guys that you know get some stuff chromed but they bring it to to mexico and they have they do an awesome job hmm. you know but we have those walls up against you know in the atmosphere that keeps mexico yeah, right. keeps all the toxics over yeah on that side <laughs> what about nickel plating is that similar to chrome <laughs> it's exact nickel same. Pla- nickel plating is exact same right yeah oh okay <laughs> it's the same process yeah Woody's going to come out with a line of gold bikes, I think, now. That's going to be the next one. <laughs> 24 gold karat watches. gold. Yeah, they're, they're, they're $98,000 a piece. And he hey, that looks like them. Xavier. Wait. That's, <laughs> wow. Somebody hey, he's promoting your book. He's promoting your book, Eddie. Is that a sleep stack from Land of the Lost? What is that? <laughs> Look at him. He's changing the, the, the quadrajet or something on there. I don't know. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I think he's... <laughs> That looks like some soon-to-be-retired, like, old guy. Yeah, he's going to move to Texas and retire. Yeah. They're, Are you going to run it all? going to give money? him a bike before they give me a bike. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> the the oh, They're going to give Blyther a bike before they do Fiola. Yeah. Hey, hey, Brian. That looks like oh, Brian Blyther. What's going on? <laughs> uh, it is Brian. I thought oh, it was Xavier's God. uncle. What is going on here? We got Josh hey, Black to help work on his car, and, I, and all of a sudden there's a Peter under his hood. Brian Blyther. <laughs> oh, What's look at that. On? Mr. White. What's happening? What's going you on, dude? Know about your, your deal with GT. Are you doing a GT bike yet? Like Josh and Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got Everyone a bike. can get one but Eddie. <laughs> he used to be king. Poor Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Now he can't even get a sticker on a bike. Them sons of bitches. <laughs> Large hey Joe, of, we ought to have a protest. Parade. We should go to GT, the factory, right now yes. and protest. We want Eddie Fiola. Eddie Fiola. No, yes. Offense, Josh. Josh has his bike in a box in the shed. Eddie Fiola, we want his bike. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll do it tomorrow. Hey, we can, uh, uh, I think us. we. I think I'll we can again. pay some protesters to do that. I believe. No, we, we don't can... have to pay anybody. No, we could get enough people. We got. We're going to go right from the old school okay. union to the GT factory <laughs> and burn that place down. If we can't get a Eddie Fiola bike. Yep. You know, Man. King of Skate Parks can't get a bike. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Brian, can you do something about that? <laughs> huh? I can't huh. do anything about it. <laughs> I see that you're promoting Eddie's book, though. Your hat says 4130. You know, that's how much you can get uh, the latest Fiola book. That's right. Is that how much that's not, that's not backed by GT, those bastards. No. When I was king. <laughs> so uh, I didn't realize there wasn't a, 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 a Fiola line where he goes to different events every weekend, like Mike Buff or something. Why not? Uh, you know, you'd, you'd have to ask the, the people over at GT, you know, maybe I'm too hard to work with or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, who would say something like that? No, no. Come on, Eddie. Come on. You're not the, you're not the Ellen of BMX. I know that. You're not hard to work with. I'm going to hey, talk well, to him, Eddie. I'll talk to him for you. I'll put in a good word for you. Oh, is that, is that Brian off the, what is that? What happened? That well, one there. Who is that? That's that's Aaron Eckhart. You know who Aaron Eckhart is? Yeah, he's an actor. Yeah, his actor. He 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 was um uh, two faced in the Batman series. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and he was also uh, the co pilot in in the Hudson. So he's he's done a bunch of a bunch of different movies. Anyhow, I was working with him, and uh, uh, I had to throw his stunt double off the. Uh, a six-story building down an elevator shaft so nice <laughs> what movie was that oh, what, not buying a book line of duty not yeah they didn't buy a book so i threw them off the elevator <laughs> shaft. <laughs> yeah in, the line of duty called line of duty and i think you can see it either on um uh netflix or um uh, amazon prime stuff like that so Cool. So you're still doing stunt, little stunt work here and there? Yeah, doing a little stunt work. Oh, matter of fact, you're talking about man lifts and, and, and things like that. I worked on uh, uh, Jackass 4 with, um, you know, uh, uh, Johnny, I just Johnny saw that. 
The, the, the newest it? one? Yeah. With Luke. That's great. Yeah. yeah. There's more penis <laughs> in there than any than any movie I've ever seen. <laughs> There's more penis in that than any of the porns I've seen. That's the way <laughs> that's the way Brian likes his movies too, he said, right, Brian? He needs more and penis. What kind of, any, what kind of porn do you watch? <laughs> <laughs> Not with penis in it. <laughs> okay. So I'd like any no Roman, porn, any please. Roman might be joining this call. So I'm just, I'm just telling you, like, if any Roman comes on, we got to change the, just change the direction. Oh, yeah. Because I have, I have asked Andy penises? because there's God rumors out there. Maybe you guys can confirm. Maybe Brian's heard this that there's a new agro um, movie coming out that Eddie's going to re-release it. And I have a feeling that Josh White is going to be Agro Man because he went to Ireland to go do the training. Huh. Agro Man. Josh would the be return a great of Agro Man. Agro Man. Josh. Josh doesn't even know know what Agro Man is. is. I don't. I don't <laughs> no. know what Agro Man is. I told you. Oh. I he would look great as what, Agro Man. I can tell he does not. You've never seen Agro Man. Oh my gosh. No. Agro what Man. Kung Fu Fighting. Volker was Agro Man. Um, Hoffman was. Matt was. Brian, yeah. Brian, were you ever Agro Man? Greg Grosso did the dance scene as Agro Man. That you probably was, don't know about. Well, when Agro gonna, Man's breaking it down, that's Grosso. You know what? You know what, Ray? I think that that's how Eddie plays it, though. Like you don't know that you're going to be Agro Man, but he's—I'm sure he's watching every move that Josh is doing. He's been to Thailand. He's done the training. He's getting his bike back. <laughs> he's 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 prime and ready for. So just be ready for a call from. Hey, from Joe, Eddie, you could make the Eddie necklace. <laughs> <laughs> you can yes. make a shrimp rock. I can make the new shrimp rock. Agro man. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Only you two get that joke, guys. It's all that matters. It's all about us, man. <laughs> <Shrimp rock. laughs> we don't care about these other fools and kidding me. I'm sure it was funny. <laughs> so Ryan, so you're going to be in Dayton next week? Um. Uh, yes. Are you going? Yes, and Not I am bringing. Uh, I will be sitting next to you at the autograph table with a stamp of Dave Norrie's autograph. Sweet. I'll uh, I'll get a I'll get a white marker and put a goatee on you. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'll make your goatee white. How about that? Uh, yes. <laughs> maybe maybe later in the hotel room, if you know what I mean. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, wait, we're, we stopped talking about penises. Stop it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. Hey, speaking of penises, Josh, you were in Thailand for a while. <laughs> did you see any lady boys? Uh, yes, I sure did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Did you say dating, dating or dating? What are you talking yeah, about? I, <laughs> this is I got, like, you I don't got... know what a lady boy is. This is like, my daughter. The rest of the lady boys. Hello. Hi. Hello, Miss Hi. Viola. So this, she's wow. graduating. She's graduating this year, and she's going to RCC, the uh, Riverside Community College. And she also nice. got she got accepted into her their their stunt award, their stunt um, cheerleading team. So, wow, awesome! Right. Right. Welcome to the nine hundred nine. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe nine five one. You're right. <laughs> It's uh, 951 out here, yeah. Yeah, 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 my bad. Hey, Ray, Thanks. didn't you have a story that you wanted to share about Josh? Is this oh, I wanted, to ask, I wanted to ask you, Josh, what do you remember, um, what do you remember of the 1989 King of Vert in D.C.? Do you remember what your mindset was or your mood maybe a week before that contest or the night before that, that contest? It was in D.C. It was the D.C. King of Vert. You had a brand new orange bike that you didn't want to ride. And you, I had a three-hour conversation with you in the hotel, you and I. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I could tell you about everything we talked about because I have a mental illness where I can retain information like that. Like Dennis Would you like to know anything about it? You don't even remember it, do you? You don't even remember, do you? I, I, I don't. I, I I think you're talking. I, I are you sure it was me, <laughs> dude? Here here's how it went down. It was it was 1989 King of Vert, and we had this huge room. We had a we had a we had a um 
we had a room that had like the door in between and like a whole bunch of Gary's noisy friends stayed in one side and then you and a couple other people stayed in the other side. Everybody went out to go ride in DC. I didn't even have a bike with me. I didn't even have a bike. And so Gary was like, well, then just, just stay at the hotel. So I stayed back in the room and you were the only one there. And you and I sat there for three hours and talked. And I remember it like it was yesterday and everything. And I remember everything we talked about. And that's why I'm wondering if you remember anything about it, because you, um, you were in a place where I couldn't believe it. The conversation I had with you is the exact opposite of what I thought it was going to be before we had the conversation. I'm freaking out, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I try to remember. I, I was I telling you that I, I wasn't really that into riding anymore, and I wasn't really yes. that motivated. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. That's yeah, exactly I, it. yeah. That's probably what. Yeah, that's probably about the time it started, where I just kind of started to lose interest in the sport and just kind of. You know, that's exactly was, what we talked about for three hours for real. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And you were explaining to me like how you totally weren't into it anymore. And you just, you were done with it. And here I was, I was like a couple years younger than you. And I was like, I don't have a bike. I have zero skills at riding a bike. I would never be sponsored. I would never be do anything that you could do. And so you, ha you had exactly what a kid like me would dream of. <laughs> and so like i would think like man josh white is on top of the world right now he's the king of vert he's like one of the number one pros he's sponsored he's got this brand new uh pink bike that he thinks is ugly and i'm like i would i would uh not to go back to the wood chipper story but i give my arm and leg for that bike oh, and here you were like you were like i don't even want to put it together i'm hoping maybe it gets stolen so i don't have to enter the contest and i'm like <laughs> so we were like the exact opposite. did you steal like, his bike no, but he, he was almost going to give it to me because he was like he goes i don't even want to ride tomorrow and i was just thinking like people people work their whole lives to be where josh white was and he was done with it he was like i'm done and i could not comprehend that i was like i can't believe that josh has like a case of the fuckets and just wants to go home and start his next his next career you know what i mean like he was done with riding and i was like i was amazed but no we we sat in that room for three hours and talked and it was awesome wow just, like talked about everything it was crazy that's awesome I'm kind oh, of wow. i'm kind of bummed you don't remember it but you know well i kind of do i just i've hit my head a lot over the years no yeah, I, I understand I, yeah I really <laughs> have. well see for you for you it was just another trip you know what i mean and for me it was like it was like wow i'm sitting here talking to josh white all night so it was just for me it was like it was totally exciting and it was something that, I, that i'll remember forever you know right. so it was yeah awesome. you gotta remember where my head was at i was probably just not even there i was probably wanting to know somewhere you, else you know what's funny is I was almost I felt like I was I felt and, and Joe you're gonna love this I felt like I was counseling him because he was like talking about how how everything that was going on in the past like three or six months he just wanted to not be there he was like GT is just like I want I'm not making a lot of money and there's all this other stuff I want to do and this is kind of like holding me back and like I kind of felt bad for him as much as I was like this is crazy. <laughs> But I thought I felt bad for him as he explained it. I was like, man, this like his like riding right now is kind of holding him back from like what he wants to do or all these ideas he has. So it was crazy. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Something already yeah. Man. Sorry, just that's oh, the that's cool that you remember all that though. It's it's yeah. Right Ray, I, I never want you to stop. Yeah, I, I want you to good. never stop being funny. And if you do <laughs> ever decide that maybe you're gonna hang it up. I want you to call me. I will, yeah, and, uh, me I will sit in a hotel yeah. room with you for three hours. I will too, for three hours at least. And yeah. I will. It's like us want all that information and that funniness. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of information. I mean, geez. Don't you know. quit. Man. You can't. Brian, did you ever have that quit. feeling that Josh had on that, that night in 89 at, at DC? Um, that, that fateful night in 89. It seemed like every show that was going to rain, potentially rain, you you and Wilkerson would do the rain dance trying to get out of the show. I remember that. And I was like, man. Well, that, that's different. That's 60 shows in, in like 30 days. <laughs> that's a little different. Okay, got it. You, you just wish we were a day, a day to do anything other than a two and four show in the 
steaming hot humid sun right but, and then and then if it did rain they'd still want you to do a show oh yeah they yeah. do a show inside and then it's all on dave which was okay with me <laughs> no i told the story that dave dave did everything I told a story about when we did go inside in, in Iowa one year, and it was a really smooth, slick gymnasium concrete floor. We brought the ramp in because the doors, we could open it up enough to get the trailer in. Was that in and Dave Maris Town? What's that? No, this was Iowa. I think it was like where Rick Montero, I can't remember if it was Des Moines or what. But, but uh, I remember Wilkerson talking you into doing a double air, and it's kind of a low ceiling. And, and you know how basically Wilkerson would always push it and, and go as close as he could to you and so sure enough you go over the top and he gets right next to you and you have to bail off the bike and you just step over the handlebars and slide no you don't even slide you literally walk down the ramp and Wilkerson gets tangled up in the bikes and they just slide across the floor do you remember this at all no Vaguely. no, no. <laughs> I do I do remember us doing the same thing and, and me going, dude, I don't know if I can do a 540 on this little ramp. He goes, just go for it. But I clipped my back tire <laughs> on the 540 and he hit me and went over the bars and like face slammed and was like partially knocked out. And I did the, kind of the same thing, kind of walked away. I was yeah. like, Sorry, dude, I didn't think I could do it. But I don't remember that one. I, you you always like you wrote the smoothest, you ride the smoothest, and you crash the smoothest. Like I just remember so many times where you just like walk out of this and Wilkerson's like tangled up and it looks like, oh my gosh, is he even gonna get up? And and usually Wilkerson would get up and he would continue the show, but it was crazy yes. to watch. Well when I do hey, I look and he would hit me, he would come, he would go so high he would hit the bottom of my bike and it was the scariest thing ever. I kind of felt like messing up once in a while just to keep him honest, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a question for think Josh. That way. <laughs> I got a question for Josh. When um, back in 1986, the 1986 Ohio, you, you entered Flatland and you had a really good Flatland run and you didn't have a peg on the front or back of your bike you had zero pegs no gyro no no detangler and you rode pro flatland <laughs> like what was up like you didn't have pegs on your bike yeah, what were, like I, what was going on that. was that pegs. purposely like were you doing it to be like hey i don't have pegs or you just like didn't have pegs yeah i didn't like after a while i got sick of pegs because they they seemed dangerous to me you know if i crashed and fell on them i could impale myself and plus they were heavy right. so i said screw this so i'm a you know i'm a vert rider more than anything else so i don't know why i kept entering pro, pro flatland though i i'm not I sure maybe gt overall. said oh we want you to go for the overall and yeah, try yeah. and beat ben, dennis mccoy or something like that but i just started you know, kind of going away from flatland a little bit more you know, yeah. you can't do – Dennis was the only guy that could really do both really well. I, I couldn't do Flatland and Vert both at a, at a high level. Apparently, you don't know Eddie Fiola that's on the call with us here. <laughs> well, Eddie <laughs> – <laughs> Boy, Eddie, you're really getting it. No, Josh has that bike. Now, you can't, now you're not an overall rider. Oh Eddie's in God. his own lane, though. He's a showman. I'm glad He's... I'm here to stick up for him, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just, I just remember that, and I just, I just remember being a kid watching that, and going like, we didn't realize it until we got home and we watched the video. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm like, that dude doesn't have any pegs on his bike. It was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I, I was wasting my time. I should have just not even done flatland. I should have just stuck with ramps and just focused on that more. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't agree, Josh. I, I actually appreciated your flatland a lot, and I think a lot of people did. <laughs> Cause, cause you had your own style and you did your own thing. And I don't know, like you got that cover of the magazine. I consider myself a ground writer. I know we talked about that last show and that was yeah. a whole joke, but it was great. It was like, it was like, yeah, you, you owned it. So I, th I thought it was great. I think you should flatland. We should go do a session later this afternoon. Huh? Flat a flatland session? Yeah. I'm right down the street from you. What do you mean? <laughs> I know. I keep forgetting that. He's yeah. going to break into your shed. Eddie, Eddie, do you realize that Josh and I like live in the same town now? Uh, I didn't know that. I, I just oh, now look at this like, run. You guys that close. No, nope. look at this. Oh, he's got pegs on there though. Yeah, but still, like, well, That's Josh, true. like you're, 
Are you that, like that was cool. overly athletic? You're like an athletic dude. Like you would do airs and instead of crashing your brains out, you would just hold the bike to the side and run down the ramp. Like that takes some type of skill, don't you think? Or is it I just wanted to be, like I wanted to be smooth like Brian, you know? Oh, oh no one's that smooth, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I just figured if you if you're a graceful yeah, I don't even. God, forward side glides, no joke. And his bars are a little Chicago there too. Look at that. Yeah, He's the, doing a little Martin. That, that was the peg, that was the peg what? days. Man. That was that was when I still had pegs. Crossing the legs for yeah, showmanship. Right. He there. got a photo in the magazine pegs. for that. That must be Martin. That's not me. That's definitely you. <laughs> he even did a sneak look you. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's <laughs> wait, that's Dave Norris. Yeah, that's oh, me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh my God. Look at this man. Oh, Holy can, can no, Look at that. no wonder GT gave you your own book. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. And it comes with pegs. The bike Look comes that. with pegs. Look at that standard. big ass boomerang. That was like a karate kick boomerang. That was like a Thailand. That's like a, I've been in Thailand for a month boomerang. My, my bike comes. My bike comes with pegs in the rear, but I, I'm not going to put them on. I'm not. I'm not going to install them. I, yeah. I just don't I don't use them. Can you do a wheelie on oh, it? Oh, that was cool. I can't. These tricks. <laughs> I can't do a wheelie. It's gonna end it with a frame stand. Look at this. No, backwards, backwards wheelie, wheelie frame. frame stand. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I can't I can't believe Where I did something. Where is something. this run? I don't remember this contest. What is this? A whole shot. A whole shot. It's in England. 87. Okay. Oh, it's in England? Yeah. Yeah, and then two uh, years think... later, you'd be sitting in a hotel room with me saying, I don't even I'm want done. this bike. I, I don't want to ride Good tomorrow. Lever. Look at that. Look at that. That's like Chris yeah. Lashua. That's a, that's <laughs> so stupid. Chris Lashua. I haven't heard that that's name like in Chris forever. Lashua. Yeah. Look at that. That might be Chris Lashua now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> right. I think that is Chris Lashua. They screwed up. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> We'll it's cut this part out, Joe. That's this is no part. joke. I'm messing up. That's Josh all day long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. This is a seven-hour routine. I know. Does it have what he was riding yeah, That's to? a fuel move. Hey, play the next one, Eddie Fuel at 88, Master California. That must be Veldrum. Right. Right. I love this one. Oh, he rode to Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. Yes. Oh, that's an Eddie. Hey, um, Joe, that's a fact that um I sent Eddie years ago. I said, 1988 Velodrome, you and I did something that nobody else did in our runs, and he knew what it was. He and I both oh, were yeah. Michael Jackson. Eddie and I are connected, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Smooth criminal. Yeah. Black. Yeah. Is that a black bike yeah, or that's bike? Cool. Black. Yeah, Josh did, did, did that same trick just then. I don't know why I keep spinning my bars. I have a gyro on. I know, it's but a that's habit. your style, it's a nervous That's twitch. totally your style. I, you can't ever take that away. No, you, you do it because think of how many shows you did and how many times you did a trick back before you had a detangler. You know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, jo er, <laughs> hey Joe, there's only one more run you gotta show. <laughs> no, Joe, there's Joe, only one show, more run you gotta show. show the there's only one I, more run. Show the video that I, got I sent you. you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I mean. So Josh and, and Eddie, every show Ray tries to get us to play his his non no touch run in uh where was it? Master um Wayne, New Jersey. I think uh, New, New Jersey. That's this it. is this was right after I talked to uh this is right after I talked Look to that. Josh and I realized there was going to be one less freestyler in the world. I was going to try and take his spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this dude's done. If that's somebody sees cool. me do this run, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna just gonna send all the stuff they were sending 
to Josh White, the King of Prussia. They're like, just send all Eddie, that stuff to King of hey, Prussia. Hey, Eddie, Eddie, did you, like did you always tricks. do? Did you always do decades that way, or was that your opposite decade? Um, that's the way I used to do decades. Mm -hmm. Oh, I cannot believe you didn't do the, didn't pull the quick spin. That's your signature trick. But you said it Brian is. Skur showed you that, right? Yes. Yeah. I always thought you you did it. You learned it, or you made it up. Yeah, I no, wasn't me. Like to take the the fame on that, but no, I didn't. The mechanics of a quick spin are so unusual and so like it's not intuitive that it would work that way. That's right. what I always thought was cool about that trick. Yeah, using hey, Eddie, did you, you sorry, using, Eddie, did you Brad, used to go ahead? <laughs> Go. Hey, wait. <laughs> All right. Did you intentionally fall on that yes. surfer? Yeah. Yeah. That was a, that's, yeah. A, that's an Eddie Fiola trick, dude. That's one of the that's, coolest things. Yeah. Look at that. Trick. Look at that. I, I used to call it a surf fall, not a surfer, but you fell. It was a surf fall. <laughs> and, but uh, you never actually hit the ground. So. Oh, you didn't touch. <laughs> yeah, it's called a Dave. It's a Dave Nori surfer. <laughs> oh come on, let's see get this quick spin. I gotta see this I, quick spin. I get it. I get it. This last one. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It's so oh, good. Can... It's so good. And the and pull that, out. And that, well, kind of. And your and your mullet just going in the wind. Actually, it wasn't even a mullet. That was a full the full hair. It was a full. That's full. a full head of hair. Yeah. Yeah, you had a full head of hair. All We're right, so here we We're go. Done. He's building his bike, hopefully. Yeah, I think <laughs> Josh is building his bike. He's gonna. Oh, here we go. That's not the one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, that's with the air horn. That's. Everyone needs a hero. Eddie's gonna do a book part two with me. I know it. I can see him. <laughs> I can see the wheels churning in his head right now. <laughs> Did you do this video? Somebody did it. Look at this. This is a tribute so, to Large Ray because we these are, are all now tricks that Woody. These are these are all tricks that Eddie can't do. Look at this. Eddie would never be able to pull this run. See no, that? I, look at that. Look at that. My front peg and my back peg. Look at this. And that's a factory uniform I got on. <laughs> is is that Cincinnati, Ohio, right there? No, um, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. I also had Magoo also had a hundred dollar bill every time I did a run that if I uh, crashed into the uh, trophies he'd give it to me. He would <laughs> hand it to me and be like, "Here's a hundred bucks, right? If you take the trophy out." I just never did it. You're getting close, though. Yeah. Yeah. See, people don't realize this video is from you know, 1981. We can't hear the audio, audio, Joe. Well, Joe, huh? Joe doesn't know. How Watch to Dave Volker. Look, Dave Volker. The helmet he tap. your helmet. He Notice gave that? me the power. Yeah. No, I think Dave was taking your power. He was. He's like, I want some. Oh, okay. Power. There you go. I'm also quite the break dancer. I mean, when you got skills like mine, you show them off. You know. <laughs> That's a beautiful piece. So Beautiful. Ray, we, we want to officially welcome you to Factor Freestyle as our as our permanent host. And that was our tribute to you. So but I've been here, this is like my 20th show. I know. Well, we're, we want to make <laughs> sure we're officially welcoming. This is a very I'm, long I'm interview trying, process. I'm you don't know. To, you could have said something. I'm trying to slowly, I'm trying to slowly <laughs> leave the show by giving you guys all these subtle hints, and now you're welcoming me yep. on, in the 20th now show. You're stuck. Now you have now you have to go get a factor freestyle tattoo. <laughs> yep. And you and you will never be able to quit. I got it right here. Do you have a factor freestyle shirt yet? Is there a shirt involved? We're so underground we don't know. We're too we're no. Eddie, we need we need some help. We, Maybe we need to get a hold of uh, bootlegging. Of kid. Because yeah, kid will do it, right? We could we yes, could we will. could use the Fiola font and steal it and get that letter you're looking for, Joe. We'll copy the shirt he has on right there. Yeah, will you send us? Oh a yeah, I, 
<laughs> I've been trying to get Bob to send a letter. Eddie will do it. Overlooking Eddie. <laughs> Let's copy everything off Eddie and see if we get a letter. Yeah, hey, more power to you. <laughs> oh, man. Who can we go after next? Eddie, the problem is that we've had so many ideas for shirts. I mean, Ray came up with one be right before the show, and we just haven't done one yet. The quote was, Factor Freestyle, it's just like nature. It just happens. All right. Ah, that's good. <laughs> some deep shit. Well, hey, give, give kids some, some ideas, and, and he, can, uh, he can do a couple of one-offs and okay. see what you like. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want to do shirts. Yeah. I don't want to do any shirts. I don't know what they're talking about. Dave, are but you going to print those shirts card. with your autograph, with your signature on it? No. <laughs> Coming up. Yeah. You I'm see watching. Brian's reaction when you told him about the signature stamp. He's like, he thought okay. it was a good idea. He said, yeah. okay. he said, okay. Are you going out front with mulch? I don't know if you thought it was a good idea. Why don't I give Brian the Dave Nori autograph stamp next week and we'll see what Brian does with it. No, you have to do it. You don't want to distract that. He's a superstar. Yeah, you got to let him do his own thing. You can't, you got to be, you got to let him just sign his autographs. And then you if you're going to go Dave through Nori with this, Joe, separately. you got to go through with it. Oh, now Xavier's, now we get him driving. I'm going to, I don't know that I told Xavier this idea. Oh, well, you can tell Xavier. Uh oh, we can't hear your we can't hear your audio. He's here. on mute. No. Uh oh. I'm sure glad that uh, Brian's not driving. It's not. <laughs> He's trying. Wait, don't. There's a button. There's Look a mute the road. button. Watch the, the road, road, Xavier. Watch the road. There's a mute button on the first screen. He doesn't appear to. I, Xavier, you don't appear to be muted. I think it's about um, the audio coming back through your car. Do you got to undo your... Turn off your Bluetooth or something. He's going to head right into a wood chipper. Watch out. Yes. <laughs> I can't get that wood chipper story rhythm. out of my head. Oh, my God. That's insane. Yeah, that's brutal. So Josh, when is your plan to go back to Thailand? You said you, you've already thought about coming back. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. I'm just, I'm kind of just speaking out loud, but um, hopefully within the next, you know, six months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to go, um, but we'll see. I don't know. I, I have to see. It's just, you know, it's not cheap. After a while it adds up, but um, yeah, I, I was pricing condos over there. So we'll and, see. I don't know. And what is a condo? Uh, like, what do you... What would you say a condo run? It depends run? on where, where it is, but um, I was looking at uh, in, in Pattaya, which is, and it's right on the on the ocean, um, and I could find a really decent place for less than 50 grand, you know, pretty pretty mm -hmm. nice, pretty clean, and, and, and really affordable. Everything, real estate's very affordable over there, so if you go down to Phuket down south, it's a little more expensive, um, more more tourists down there, a little more money, so, um, but Pattaya was, was where I'd want to be. It's pretty close to Bangkok, and right on the ocean and oh yeah so i don't know we'll see but i wow. love it over there i want to go over there and get get me a thai wife no a thai <laughs> wife <laughs> whoa a, a lady boy stay away from those lady boys man at least make sure they got a tuck eddie what do you know about lady boys they they're saw, they're tricky saw man on, saw a documentary on it the other day oh my god they're there yeah you gotta really watch it you gotta watch it they're, they're they'll fool you Oh God! Really? Oh, I got I fooled mean, a couple it, times. I got fooled a couple times. Have a conversation, and then after a while, you wait, wait a second. And and if you ask them if they're a lady boy, they they always tell you the truth. They always say yes or no. You know, um, I've Joe, I've my question. Are you a lady boy? Yeah, I, I ask them, "Are you a lady boy?" And they say, "Yeah." Of course, I, I ask a couple of ladies if they were lady boys too, and they got they get pretty offended. But um, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> But if they're tall, oh. if they're any anything over five foot two, you have to ask because any 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 anybody that's tall is a lot of times a lady boy. So yeah, uh -oh. you gotta, you gotta, it, that was that was weird. That was weird. It seems like such a pain in the ass. Oh, I know. 
Yeah, oh it's it's a yeah, one coming. from a lady boy. Yeah, it could probably hurt. Oh, you're talking about. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I'm talking wait, about like wait. you take everything too literally. Oh, okay. I thought we were just talking about lady boys. Sorry. <laughs> Joe, so that Eddie, would hurt in your butt. So Eddie, real real quick, I gotta go get some. I gotta go fix something to eat. So I want to wrap this up a little bit. But um, I just want to ask Eddie: Is it okay if I call Ben Ward at GT and say, "Hey, would you be willing to talk to Eddie about"? you know, uh, doing some kind of deal. I mean, would you mind if I gave him your number or talked to him on your behalf, uh, you yeah, know, no. got the ball rolling or what? So let's see what we can do. Okay. I'll, I'll mention it. I'll say, Hey, Eddie's open to negotiations. Hey, anything's open to no negotiations. Everything's got a price on it. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's just, you know, they got to realize that, that, you know, myself, you, Martin, Dave, they, we made GT where they are. Yeah. I mean, they didn't, you know, before they were a race team and they sold race bikes and they did this, but once they started selling freestyle frames, man, they made so much money and it was around the world. We would, they knew us around the world. They yeah. made money hand over fist because of us. And they, and they used us to their fullest. And, and, and you know, we, like, again, we got paid what we thought we were good for, but we had no idea how much money they were making off of us. Yeah. Um, and and a, a little, uh, you know, donation would have been great if, we, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's just, I look back on it, you know, and, and seeing how, you know, they, they made all this money from freestyle and they opened up mountain bikes and then they made mountain bikes and then they sold the company and they made a buttload of money. But did we see any of that? Did we get a, Hey, thanks buddy for helping us out, sell all these billions of dollars of bikes. No, no. So no. it's just, I, I've got a, I've got a sore area around there, but it, yeah. it's, but I, I can, you know, I can talk and, and we, everything's like I said, everything's, Everything's got a price, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool that you're open to it. So that's good. That's good to know. So I'll, I'll mention it to him. I, I mean, I'm going to show you the hardcover real quick. Oh, so this, oh yeah. Oh, that, so that's great. The hardcover, you know, and then it opens up and. You oh, got nice. Wow. Kind of nice. Cool. Yeah. So, See, look, and, then, if you and then your name with you, this is, this is one of 200. I think it's 200. Yeah. One of 200. And your name, your name will be etched. Yeah. <laughs> your name will be on the cover. So if you bought one. Cool. Wow. Man. So Josh, um, you're gonna pitch this also that it's such a great idea because they're gonna make a lot of money. I mean, you have to use that as as leeway, like using Fiola's name to launch <laughs> another bike. And they, they, you cut I was getting a phone call and so your voice cut out. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, like, the, the pitch to, to GT is that how well they could do with it. I mean, to, to oh. bring a bike for Martin and, and Fiola, I think oh it my God. Be, it's a no-brainer. I just don't understand why they haven't done it already. Um, so I just assumed that they'd already had their dialogue and that they were done, you know, they were done talking. But apparently they haven't even talked. So I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think that's silly. So it needs to happen. So I'm going to ask him why. Yeah. Cause he's really yeah, cool. Him. He's really cool. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. He's a, you know, he's a rider. He's a, he's, he's not a yeah. suit. He's one of us, you know, he's he used to ride. He used to be a fan yeah. of the sport. Ben so, Ward, right? Ben Ward. Yeah. Yeah. It's a okay, great I guy. Got, I got a question for you. Is it, does anybody know who rides for GT right now? I mean, like name. Hans no. Ray. Yeah. I'm well, on the team. Yeah. But I mean, no, like, I don't know anyone who does Nowadays, no. nowadays, yeah. you don't even know who rides for GT. You don't know who rides for Haro. You don't know who rides for any of these other companies. And because we don't have magazines and we're not waiting for the magazines to come out where you've seen Josh White and you've seen Eddie Fuel and, yeah. you know, Mike Dominguez and you, 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 you couldn't wait and you could name the whole team, you know, right, right off the bat. Uh, where yeah. nowadays it's like, uh, does anybody ride for GT? Yeah, they, they, they have pro riders. They have pro yeah, riders. Who, who are they? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. 
I can't remember their names. I know. And Xavier it's, might know know them off the top of my head. Joe, do you know some of the some of the writers? No. Like, I mean, they don't I know, have a flatland team, but I don't know that. I don't know. I'm going to look up their Instagrams to see what the. Where's X Men? We need X Men back. He would know. But no, that's a very valid point, Eddie. Is that it was very much branded with the personalities. Like that was coincide. They were going, you know, side by side. The, the, yeah, the personality and the brand. Right. Right. No, it was the so, one to one. One to one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mindy's doing some electrical work outside. That she, she wants to know which wires are going where. Hey, it, oh, I thought you were, she was mixing the one to one. <laughs> no. yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the landscape lighting. It's, it's a 12 volt system, but she wanted to know if it was one to one, you know, this wire to this wire, both into one. Just to make oh, sure okay. that ending it somewhere, you know. Yeah, it's, it's one, it's the, there's going to be a wire on one side that's that's got some letters on it, and the other is all black. And stay away from the wood chipper. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, Josh what are you going to make for lunch? Both on one side. Uh, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make, actually, it's yeah, going to be breakfast. Eggs, look, potatoes, the same side. Uh, Greek yogurt, oh, and fruit. Wire. Perfect. It's two wires to two wires. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's just doing I, I haven't had any food yet today. I haven't eaten yet today. It's better, almost two o'clock. Dude, holy cow. No. Well, it's part of my diet. I only have a protein shake in the morning and I don't have my first meal until around one. Wow. That's part of my diet. Yeah. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any last questions? Because Josh has to eat. We don't want to. He's fading. Getting, He's starting to look a little pale. <laughs> I'm getting low blood sugar. Yeah. You'll be fine. When are you going to come on again? I want to talk about more stuff. Wait, let's ask know, whatever, 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 whatever you guys want me. Okay, great. We'll have you back. Okay. Especially when, once you start riding, we want to see some footage. We want to, yeah, that would be so sure. awesome. Of you course. Two months. Of course. Yeah, two months at least. Uh, yeah, two two months, maybe three. Uh, I'll, I'll see. My shoulder's actually doing a lot better these last uh, few weeks. So I'm, I'm looking hopeful that it's going to okay. be sooner than later. Let's ask Xavier who rides for GT now. <laughs> Xavier, wait, he's got. Hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hey, who rides for GT now? GT bikes. Yeah. Um, I think it's still um, Blyther, Volker, Josh White, <laughs> and Martin Aparillo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who rides for GT now. You know okay, so know? Eddie, that was our saving grace and your point is well taken there. <laughs> I thought for right. sure he would know. Who rides for GT? Yeah. Now. Um, <laughs> probably some foreigner. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, the last huh. person I knew that rode for GT was Jamie Bestwick and that was probably 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Right. But that was the only guy I remember, like in this day, meaning like the past twenty years. Oh, I know what? Dave Volker. Yeah, I couldn't find Volker. Anything. He was probably yeah. He rode for him for a couple of years, still a year or two. Are, are we trying current, to who, who currently rides for him? Yeah, current riders. Look how hungry Josh looks. He looks like he's ready for. I, a I, no, I'm first. pulling up my. I'm pulling up the GT website. I want to see the pro riders. You know who the because they do have a couple signature bikes. These pro these pro guys. So uh, they're coming riders. out. I do know that GT is coming out with the GT Lady Boy. They're gonna sell in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure they don't give you that bike and make you grow your hair long again. Make you do the full tuck. Okay, here, here's the lineup. Brian Kaczynski, Dan Conway, Albert Mer Mercado, Le Leonardo, Maria, uh, Tate, Rosin Kelly. Bunch of Irish kids. Mad Mike Guth and Rob Wise. Well, I've heard, heard, of the, I heard right. the last first. There you have it. That's the GT lineup. All right. Tate. Tate Ross Kelly, yeah, my, my, I never have, I've never heard of any of them, so I don't know. Josh is working for Factor Freestyle now. Look at this, he's on the computer doing Joe's job. 
<laughs> right, He's going to become a regular. Yeah. Who needs Joe anymore? I can, pro- I can probably make Josh laugh every once in a while. You can- <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my laugh on, man. <laughs> oh, what a trip. Well, I can't name. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know any other GT riders that have like been on for more like a Ryan Nyquist long time. Does, does Haro oh, still have a few stout team? Yeah, Haro's still Yeah, Haro's still, Haro's still pretty big. Ryan Nyquist still rides for Haro. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Everybody knows him. Year. That's and all Dennis I know. Anderson. I mean, I don't know. I, I have more Haro <laughs> names. Kidding. There's a bunch. A bunch of Flatlanders. Name all the Flatlanders right for Haro, Dave. I don't know a whole Mat- bunch of them. Matthias I mean, rides for Haro. Matthias yeah, Matthias. Kind of that's, that's all you need. Yeah. That's that's the only guy I know that rides for a company. Does Chad yeah. Curley and those guys still ride for Haro? Chad Curley is on premium, but yeah. He used to? It's the same thing. Like Dennis Anderson is the other yeah. big name. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, there's some, they're, they're still. They got a hell of a team. So, they're Brian, we need. Really crazy. What's that? I said their old school team is really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Dave? I was going to say, um, we need some good information for Josh because Josh is going to pitch Ben Ward on bringing back uh, the. Uh, Retro bike for Fiola and Martin. I think you guys should do both, right? Fiola, don't you agree? Like, yeah, 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 one, yeah, one yeah. yeah. So well, I, it's I, very I, unlikely that there's going to be another Haro reissue. Like the Haro repop like lineage stuff is do, kind of. No, they're going to do a Joe Gatola. The end of it. They're going to do a Joe <laughs> They're not going to do a Joe Gatola. <laughs> no, I think that's the end of the Haro of the Haro reissues. So yeah. who's going to do the reissues anymore? I think we need Volker to get the, the the GT thing going. He's still him and Ben Ward are still good friends. Well, so is Josh. Josh knows, yeah, right. Oh, so, okay. Well, there you go. I didn't realize that. That's but why yeah. we're just trying to give him more, you know, more ammo. Well, yeah, how I, much I got, what ammo do you need? You don't have to explain Martin or Eddie. Well, I I don't want to. I I just want to ask him why 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 isn't Martin and Eddie involved with GT? Why don't they have a, a heritage bike? Why don't they have a signature bike? Why why aren't they involved with I mean, it's GT's 50th anniversary this year, you know, or whatever it is, 30th anniversary or whatever it is. They're, they're celebrating a, a big milestone. So why wouldn't they get their, you know, original superstar rider back on the roster, for God's sake? Dave, Dave, why don't you send him this show link right now and we can ask them. We, can- we should call him right now on this should, show. I'll try him yeah, right I'll now. do it. No, I'll, I'll there's do it. power in numbers. We'll right now. No, and we're not going to bombard them. I mean, we're going to do. Oh, this. we'll bombard them. No, we're Ray, gonna, you. We're going to You can bombard them. We are going to bombard them. Yeah. Hold on, let me find him, guys. Josh yeah. has his own bike and leaves it in the shed. Eddie wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, look at that! Oh, that those graphics are tight. Oh yeah. The slow ride. Is that the lady boy bike? Yeah. <laughs> That's the girl's bike. So, yeah, so uh, me, Brian, and Mike are getting ready to fly to, to Ohio for um, Mike Buff's um, Dayton, Ohio jam. It's called the Buckeye. Well, hey, isn't Mike going to Australia too with uh, Mike Miranda? Yeah, I heard yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah, that's in October. This is the um, this is the purple Mike Dominguez one with the lowrider truck. Yeah. How rad is that? Oh, we uh, lost Ray. That, that's really great. Um, okay, Benjamin Ward, right? Yes. This must be him. Out. 
Oh. <laughs> we yeah, don't. Yeah. The spray paint's all back here. So we'll wait till tomorrow. Okay. We're going to paint teepees. So we'll wait till tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow we yeah. Okay, let's get Ray, uh, Joe, I don't think it's going to happen. The, his account on Facebook says that the account is no longer in use. Message will go unread. And I tried it uh, on Instagram and I couldn't find him on Instagram. Well, Josh, you can text him. I'll text him. Text him the like, link right now. Text him the invite for this. No, I'm not going to do that. Get him on. <laughs> Come on. We're missing right <laughs> We, hit. we need large Ray back so we can, you know, I know. large Ray talk Josh into going to the shed. I think he's talking to him. <laughs> no, Xavier did. He said algorithm. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was it was oh, Xavier. Jo <laughs> Josh, algorithm. So, well, all of my still send the link to Ben. Because it's really the Hannibal. Hey, what happened, Ray? Oh, my son needs to get picked up, so I, I'm having my wife go get him. Did you get did you get to hear everything that Ben said about the deal? No, but you gotta you gotta rewind it. I'll get that. Oh, I'll, dude. I'll I'll have I'll have Eddie's name on the bike bottom. before noon tomorrow. You'll have Eddie's name on the bike. We'll we'll all be riding around a 29 inch white world tour pro performer something with Eddie Fiola with the long black flowing hair. Hey, the problem with the the the, the 29ers is I can't reach right. the ground. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry. I know. I can't. You know what we'll do? We'll put you on the front like ET in a basket, and I'll pedal it around. It'll work out great. <laughs> but I, I need a, I need a nickel for every bike. Dude, that would be the we'll best just, ad campaign. That right would be here. the greatest ad ever. Eddie Fiola and Large Ray collaboration, <laughs> where Eddie sits in a basket, flail, throwing stickers to kids, and I'm just pedaling it, trying to yeah. get away from Blyther in his cop uniform. And his cop uniform. Yeah, shut the back door. Eddie, you, Joe, Eddie, you Joe, were one of the originals that had the um, oversized wheels, you know? I mean, yeah. you, weren't you running 22-inch reels yeah. like back in the 80s? Well, in reality... Inch, inch and three-eighths, right? They were inch and three-eighths, but they're... Do they're I know still, my stuff or what? Yeah, there were there were still 20-inch wheels, but because they were the inch and three-eighths, they... they um, we're allergic, a little bit larger, uh, um, diameter wise. Um, the, the, the reason I had those wheels is because you could put more air pressure in them. Um, more than 45 PSI, which was recommended back in the day. Uh, you could, you could put at least 60, um, that amount of pressure helped, um, with less, uh, resistance and flow and easier and way better than, you know, some Skyway tough wheels, but, uh, uh but yeah, no, that uh, the, the the day I did the photo session with um, RL at the TOL ramp, um, yeah, on on twenty six or on twenty fours, we got I got a cover on a twenty four. It, it just the the difference that the bigger wheel felt was just amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it so is. It's. 29 inch wheels are ridiculous I, I the first time i got on it it was you got i got used to it eventually but my god i mean i i can't touch the ground either on the seat i can't <laughs> touch my toe to the ground that's how tall it is i'm 510 so yeah. that, that it, they're, they're ridiculously big but <laughs> yeah you should you should have like a 26 or 24 or something like that they have all different sizes yeah a dirt jumping 26 would would be perfect for me oh there you go yeah, and, and it has to be yellow, right? It would have to. It would be great yes. if it was yellow. Has to be yellow. Yes. Yes. Okay, I can see it already. <laughs> I can see it already. <laughs> we'll make this happen. All hey, right. make this happen. Hey, wait, uh, Joe, pe pull up uh, Josh White's Instagram because he's got a picture of him airing at Town Skate Park. Um, this must have been how long ago was this? Wow, Josh? Oh yeah, it was uh, uh, 20, 2020, I believe. We got a, we got the gate key. Oh, what I do? I touched something. That's all right. No, no, you didn't. A little further down, a little further, right there in the middle. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Damn, look at that. Look at that. 29 no helmet. And that's like an eight foot wall, right, Josh? About? 
Yeah, eight or ten. Yeah. Coping. I think it's ten. I think it's a ten foot wall, actually. Yeah, it's it's taller than eight. Wow. There's another hey, picture. Guys. One more picture. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hey, guys. Damn. Oh, hear me? Hear me? Well, that's probably. What would you say? Yeah, we can hear you, Xavier. Hey, we're we're signing off right now. We just want to say goodbye. Okay, guys. See you guys later. All right. See you guys. Peace out. Thanks, Thanks, man. Later. Okay, that's Lose awesome. I'm gonna kill me a dog. Come here. Cool. Well, that that's exciting. I can't wait to see that, Josh. Two months, maybe three. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you that that contact for the guy. His name is Tim. Okay. He'll take care of your shoulder. He'll fix you right okay. up. Tijuana. No, not Tijuana. We're not going to send no. you to Tijuana. He's right here in Ashland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He'll He's come right back a lady boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, any okay. last any last thoughts, Joe? Like we we've, we've gone two hours now, and I think we've got some great content. And oh yeah, the Martin this is great. will be out soon. That'll be exciting. And we're going to call Ben Ward, and we're going to ask <laughs> those questions on this forum. Yeah, and, and then he'll be able to week. say yes, and he'll you'll he'll negotiate. He'll text you a number that you'll like. Whatever whatever and... number he gives you, Eddie, triple it. Okay, <laughs> triple it. <laughs> and then we're gonna have a bunch of smiling faces, and like Hollywood there's right. gonna be That's no how... more reissues out of Haro, and so it's all gonna be GT. And yeah, don't yeah. forget to mention our ET bike where you're in the basket and I'm pedaling. We need about we need to make about 500 of those too. And yeah, I, you know, I mean, if we're gonna do amazing. it. We're going big. That's we're a cool horror, right? Time. That's a yeah, cool horror. Cool GT's whatever. already making a rad bike. I mean, like, and they didn't have a bike in rad other than my bike, and you know, and and um, you know, Martin's. But I mean, like, why are they making a rad bicycle? Why why does GT have a rad bike? Yeah, that's true. I, I I was I, I forgot about that. They just they just came out with a rad bike. That's right. Yeah, they're coming and, up with all of these things, all these ideas, and they got two guys, people just and they're sitting not selling in the anything. So who who did they get the rights from? From uh, Hal or who 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 did they get the rights from? So who owns all that? definitely not Hal. Hal passed away not too long ago. Um, oh. and and they sold the rights to Talia's son. Oh. Um, Robert Schwartzman, and uh, now he's you know selling and making deals with everybody. That uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's another ordeal. I I've spoke to Robert and all this other stuff. So um, yeah, I just don't understand why they would build a bike that they had nothing to do with, you know. <laughs> but you know, it's it would be different if if they built a bike with my name on it that I rode in the movie, like this is my stunt bike that I rode as crew. Right. Then it would, mm. then it would make sense, but they didn't, so. Yeah. I got questions. I, can, I got lots of questions for them. I'll, I can I'll see the send, them all the, I'll get back to you on this send thing. Send me an angel sticker on it already, on the <laughs> down tube. The yeah. lyrics, send me an angel. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm out too. Okay. Good. Thanks, guys. Right. We really appreciate right. it. Later. We'll talk again. See you guys. See ya. Out. Right, we we have a lot of stuff to talk this. about, fellas. We gotta. We gotta do something got, about this. We gotta. We got. There's Eddie still. We have a lot of things to talk about. Like a lot of. We got a lot of things. We got. We have. We got. We got to work in the I, shadows behind yeah. the scenes to make this better because with John no longer doing the horror thing, they're not going to make the reissues and there's a lot of dudes as it's, evidenced by how many of those things that haro sold we need the john we need the the john bulgens of gt to broker this piece yeah. and get these guys I, back involved joe are you not are you not thinking what i'm thinking what I'm thinking is no, that we I'm, do bootleg GT and no, <laughs> and no. I'm gonna I'm gonna become a millionaire in a, like a, a year. I'm going yeah. to make 
the large ray velodrome smoke bomb bike. <laughs> <laughs> and every, I actually, time, I, I, <laughs> every time you pedal it, there's going to be a non-toxic smoke that comes out as you crank. There's going to be something in the, tu- in the tubes. It could be steam. It could be like It'll a be steam. steam. It could just be vapor. It'll be steam power. Oh, I know God. six people that would buy one. Uh, yeah, well, show, uh, and then four I more think people. that... I just think that that'll Josh, get that'll get me to go out to jams again is if I can rig up like can a you, smoke can bomb. You, can you picture people? <laughs> hey, wait, is that the new bike? No, yeah, it's the large race smoke bomb bike. <laughs> and Eddie still doesn't have his GT. They pass on Eddie, but they make a large race smoke bomb bike. Yeah. Oh God! All right, so we got a number of projects. We have the the Ray book. <laughs> The, the Ray, Ray book, which yeah. I think is a spectacular, that will be spectacular amazing because he has it all in his head, right? He doesn't need any. No, pictures. you know what? You know what we could? Okay, Joe, you know the know the picture I sent, and you said they're um, Ray's taking notes. That's I yeah. have, I have fifty DVDs of just everything. Like I filmed everything when we were kids. Like I took yeah. a, I took a mm. camera to every contest, every show. Yeah. We could give all the all the DVDs to Mark Eaton. I could give all the DVDs to Mark Eaton and have him do a hour and a half large ray documentary of all the people I've met in the BMX world. My point you of view. The, you could tell the story. Like you could pick the runs, watch the runs, tell the watch story run. behind. Tell there. them what happened. Before we'll get a ghost writer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell I them think- what happened before the run. Like who knew? The, the, who knew when Josh entered that contest in 1989? Yeah, that he, he spent was... three hours with Large Ray talking about how he hates. Ru- like it was a deep conversation. He was like, he was so done with BMX, it was crazy. And I was like, you got to be kidding me! It was like, it was like somebody telling me. It was like an astronaut saying they didn't land on the moon. I was like, wait, right. are you are you are you telling me this? I, I can't believe it. Yeah, and he, he didn't remember it at first, but then it started, you could tell that he was like, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. He started to warm up to it for sure. He knew it. Yeah. Was. yeah. Okay, so then this yeah, is the, this is have... the, this is the Rainbow Tell All book. <laughs> I, love, I, I, loved all the, I loved all the stuff I was picking on Eddie about too, and he just took it like a champ. Like I could sit there and pick on Eddie all day. It's so fun because he's good natured about it. He knows I'm, he knows I'm kidding. That's the thing that's great. He didn't get all, all upset with right me, yeah right. I just there's to things that you can digging. say that no one yeah. else Others is going to be able to say yeah. so it's ray the tell-all you thought the microwave <laughs> story was good so you could say ray the tell-all you thought the microwave yeah. story was good the that, that, tell-all book <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and then the rainbow smoke bomb bike which i that think is be, amazing because so what we could do and, is we could just we could just go to like kmart and buy and buy like, <laughs> buy a twenty like just a, like a hundred dollar sticker bike and re sticker it yeah re sticker Skyway Chicago TAs. the bar is all full well, so like, hold on hold on hold on even better John Bolgens is now you know he's a free agent we'll hi- we're John, gonna hire John, John. <laughs> we're gonna hire John Bolgens to be the product manager of the <laughs> Raybo smoke bomb reissue bike. <laughs> So, so Mark, and there's going to be a new one every year with a different chemical formulation. Oh my god, that'd be so funny! And John, and John can do that to get back. And yes, dude, how do we get back? It'll be as as his second is his next chapter. We're gonna have to have John on next week and be like, we have a way for you to get back in the game and stick it to Haro. We're gonna. We do don't even know what movie. happened, though, Ray. We don't know what happened. You know, maybe yeah, but it's, it was, whatever it, it is, matter. we have to find what motivates him. And let's say, get back in the game. Well, your next well, chapter. Give him full engineering quality assurance control. That's look. That I think that's all John wanted was to be able to have perfect reissue. And so, if yeah. we can give him carte blanche to bust the quality balls of any of the builders. That's all he cares about, and plus a little chemical plug-in for the yeah. smoke bomb. 
It'll be like can I, you, you can buy you can buy it at a vape store. That's where we'll have the. <laughs> you can buy it at a vape store. <laughs> the vape store refill. Just the use vape, the vape yeah. cartridges. <laughs> Wait, I need a new cartridge. We have to go down to the vape shop to get it. Dude, this hey, is, you got those Raybo vapes from you know, I need a, I need a, and, this then, is, and then on the, this is, <laughs> I think, Joe, I think Joe, Joe, we gotta go come up, we gotta come up with an ad. We gotta come up with an ad and be like, and be dead serious and be like, yo, they're, they're coming out with a large Ray smoke bomb bike. Uh, We're gonna, they're gonna sell them at vape shops. You can only buy them at vape shops. <laughs> They're only gonna make they're only gonna make a thousand of them, and like and oh. be like the pre orders are up in the seven hundreds already. Oh yeah, and, so um, so you can't pre order it from the interwebs. If you pre order it, it has to be so, like you have to pick it up from your local bike shop. Yeah, and the crazy part is it's gonna be chrome because I always rode chrome bikes back in the day. So like we gotta all, find like, a chromer. You know who we, we need gotta on find this an over chromer. I think yeah. we need Chad to Groot. I think Chad DeGroote could help see this through as well. Between now, yeah. wait, if we don't do chroma, we have to do a color. I'd have to pick a color. What's oh, your favorite color, tough. Ray? My favorite color? I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite color. I mean, I always like black, you know, like all, like, uh, you know, black is, I mean, it would have to be, I don't know. But see, but, but see, the smoke bomb, like, you have to you have to embrace that moment. It was an outdoor contest. It was summertime. Uh, I was wearing like a big buffalo check um, flannel, yeah. so maybe maybe it'd have to be buffalo you, check. It was like yellow buffalo check, black like, and yellow, and Dave I was wearing, was wearing a tie dye Led Zeppelin t shirt, painter's pants from Sears, and black Reeboks, and the eyeball helmet. And you tore your, and you tore it. So. And I ripped my pants in half because I tried ghosting my bike off the ramp. I loved, I loved incorporating the ramps into my routine because I was looking for anything, you know. Okay. When you only have, have four tricks. You have I have one stuff. more person that's going to join. This is so what? funny. Oh, wait, we're still on? This is so... Yeah, we're still on. <laughs> we're still, <laughs> this is, this, you getting a signature reissue bike before eddie and martin and it's but, and but it's Josh. not even a reissue because i never it's had not a even a reissue it's it's an issue it's an issue i'm gonna out eddie fiola eddie fiola you're gonna out eddie fiola. <laughs> <laughs> and wait his is his is when i was king i will be when i was king of prussia <laughs> When I was king what? of Prussia. Of Prussia. <laughs> <laughs> you use the same font. The same, the exact. Yeah. Get, that, get a photo of that and write king of Prussia and it's going to be, it's gonna, and it's going to be Ray, large Ray <laughs> signature bike. You can get the oh. vape refills. Okay, vape you shop. are, you are going to get a cease and desist letter now for sure. Yes, this yes. This is yes. so good. And that, and that cease and desist letter we're going to have is the number plate on the front of my bike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, and, we saw, and the first bike I'm going to give to Rob Lowe because he does all the quotes. Oh, of course. Shit. Yeah. So who's our next guest? Because I, I mean, well, okay, just a second. It's five yeah. o'clock, and my son needs me to make his pizzas. You know, that's what we do oh around here. God. We make pizzas. All right. So I like this format where the guests sign oh. off and then we recap and yeah, that is uh, kind of fun, come up right? with our better ideas. Well, because there's a lot that happens and we have to process it all, like come through with it, right? It's like the um, Oppo green room. Oh, shit. Hey, Joe, you know who owns Rad, right? The movie Rad? Uh, I be, I thought that Eddie said that it was Talia Shire's yeah. son or Rocky's Talia wife. Shire, Rocky's, Rocky's wife. wife. It's it's all tied together. It's all tied together, dude. Is she still alive or did she die? No, she in she, her character Adrian. No, died the actual six. lady. 
Yeah. But, but the, actual the actual lady, lady, I believe, is alive. Okay. Talia Shire, I believe, is alive. Okay. So that let's just Shad do a little Shad. recap. So, hello, hey, Shad. Shad. Hey, hey. Sorry, How's Portland, guys? <laughs> hey, Shad. Shad may have been there when I when I kicked the guy from Rad out of the seat when he took my seat. For some reason, I think he was there. Where? Were you at the old school reunion in 2011 in Woodward? I think, I think so, yeah. Because I think you were sitting at my table when I said, don't give my seat away. And I came back and everybody at the table gave my seat to the guy from Rad and I threw him out of my seat. I swear Who, you were there. Allen? Yeah. But, no, I think I, 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 that's true if, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Do you remember me throwing him out of my seat? I, I remember you telling him I think it was your seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, I don't know Ray fell out of his seat again. Here, so. oh. That's probably the time I ever met you. I saw you there, and I remember like sitting there going, like, yeah, make sure Very you guys don't get my seat away. We're, we're all doing good, Chad. Um, you're... you're your timing is great because you get to hear the recap and we're going to just do like a three minutes, five minutes of what went down on this call because man, there was a lot. So uh, let's start off by who was on the call. We had Josh White. Yep. And I really was hoping because Josh is, Josh is coming back and he's going to be the next um, agro man. I think he's going to be the next when Eddie Roman does the reissue of agro man. Yeah. Josh is going to be, the next agroman but he doesn't even know it yet so eddie's playing his cards right and uh what else josh is going to ride he'll be riding in the next two months maybe three but i'm going to try to get him riding in two weeks and he's is he back in the states now he's back in the states yeah we that's what we were doing okay. a welcome welcome home uh what else then we had fiola on fiola had a lot to say about uh getting a gt bike reissued for him since volker has one and so does uh, Josh now. And it's, are, are they? Did they say they're going to do one with Eddie? We're working on that. That's, That's why we we're need talking to about that today. We're working. On, we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're, gonna we're staging an intervention, is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and you being a bike shop owner, you can you know basically call GT and say, when am I going to get my Fiola and Martin? I mean, they should do both. Obviously, they should do Fiola. And I, Martin I know there's been I know there's been some uh, head bumping from what I've heard between Eddie and martin and gt and stuff you know mean back like over the years or just i, I from what i've heard just recently you know like it you know I, I don't know the ins and outs but i i you know i've heard uh you know their relationship could be a little bit better yeah we're always room for improvement yes yeah well fiola has not josh has asked asked eddie like why haven't they done it and eddie said they haven't asked yeah so we're gonna start there um, what else, Ray? What else did we cover? We covered so much. Then Xavier came on, which large Ray always calls him Oscar, and that's okay, but he's <laughs> Xavier. And um, Dad knows the joke. He knows. Yeah. And then and then Brian Blyther chimed in because if 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 you've got Xavier, generally there's going to be Mike Dominguez somewhere close or Brian Blyther or both. Yeah. Obviously. Three amigos. And then, uh, gosh, I don't know, Joe, what else did just to give a little recap because there's so much. Uh, so Ray and Eddie are going to do an ad for the 29 inch bike. where Eddie's going to sit in the basket on the handlebars like E.T. Like while while I Ray pedal. pedals. Um, and he's going to be throwing creating, stickers out. He's going to be throwing stickers he's gonna out. He's going to be throwing yeah. stickers out. Oh, here's one. So uh, there's going to be a Buckeye Bike Show in Dayton next weekend. Mike Buff, uh, Mike D, and Xavier and Brian are going to be there. <clears throat> and it's Mike just Dominguez, just road. to make sure it's not Mike Daly, Mike Dominguez. Right, Mike Dominguez. And uh, I have a rubber stamp of Dave's autograph that I'll be able to stamp posters with. Do you think this is a great idea? Just a rubber stamp of of Nori's of autograph? Dave's of Dave's autograph. Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. That's, you, that's I, all I, we're I, looking for. Okay, yeah. so you got two you got two yeses and two noes. I mean, because Josh, 
Okay, so he's with Brian. <clears throat> Brian and Chad. Two wrongs make a right, but they don't make you feel yeah. better. Okay, all right. right. I keep going How about back this, Dave? Chat. I will own. I will only provide it if the person wants it and thinks it's funny. If and they don't want it and don't think it's funny, I don't want anything to do with it. It also if they says, want one, but they're like, eh, I don't know. It's not that funny. They're not. You're not going to force it on to anybody, is what you're saying. I'm not forcing it on anyone. It also says authorized proxy, so it's clear that it's you know it's not an actual clear thing. that yeah. it's pre-authorized. That it's, I have a very important question. I have a very important question for Chad, being yeah. a bike shop owner. So if somebody came to you and said, <laughs> we, have, we have a large Ray tribute bike with a smoke bomb that you can get, uh, you can go to a vape shop and get a cartridge for it. How, how many would you order for your shop? Does it come, with, large, Z, uh, does it come with Z rims or no Z rims? Oh, uh, good it's question. Be, it's, it's probably going to have Z rims on it. We're going to have to figure out how to get Z rims. And um, wait, what about a the, mag on the back though? It should have the. It should uh, have a moto mag on the back and a Z rim on the front. Yes. Okay. How, yeah. How many of those would you would you buy? And like, we'll say we'll we'd sell them the bike shops for um. What we're not looking to make any money. So what was it cost to make a bike? A complete bike. Oh, it's it's, it's Is it, crazy. You said it's a twenty six. It's going to be a 26. Yeah, we'll say it's a 26. It well, the moto let's just pretend the moto mag and the Z rim are easy to uh get on there. Right. I'd say most of those bikes are between 7 to 950 now. Okay, so we'll Detail. give it to you for 6. We'll give it to you for 6. How many are you buying to sell? Ooh. Write well, this down, Joe. Do you think there's a market out there for a large I, I think bike that market would be more vape, so if, with a vape were, cartridge in the back. If you were an East Coast shop, you know, because I know you're, you've been more prevalent in right. the East Coast, you know, in the Northwest, you know, Josh. Is you don't think I'm global? Joe, huh? you think I'm more global, right? I well, believe Ray's global, I'm... but I am saying this to you from Ohio, and I, I admit I may have a bias. So we could I go to the Ray street. Global. We could go to the streets of Portland, and Chad could send someone out there and just I mean, if, do, if, some, if, do some if interviews. And streets of Portland. Do you, think I'd sell, do you think I'd sell more than five? You'd, you'd sell more than five, but a, a Daryl Young cruiser is always going to outsell you over here. Oh, okay. Who's Daryl Young? Do I know who he is? R racer, super good jumper in the 80s that rode for JMC. Oh, uh, okay. I totally know who that dude is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, he hung out with some free. But he never had a smoke bomb on his bike, though, or or an eyeball helmet. No, no. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the demographic of guys that weren't sponsored. I'm looking for the group of people that were like, I wasn't sponsored. Ray wasn't sponsored. This bike is for me. <laughs> it's kind of weird it's here. It's not an elitist. It's an anti elitist bike. Yeah, it, it it's is a bike weird. that everybody could have. It's in in Oregon, it is kind of weird because you know, like the cruisers and the ride outs and stuff are so big in a lot of yeah. places. They're not really prevalent at all, all in the Northwest. Dude, I went to Seattle and there was a ride out, and I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I'll check it out. And there was like five people. Yeah, Literally I, five people in the ride out. I, I think like, the Northwest is too uh too salty and hardcore for it. <laughs> I, you know, like I mean. You you go to you go right across the border into Northern California and you'll get hundreds of people, but if you pop up into Oregon, you'll just get a couple people. Joe, I think Chad's given us some good insight here. I think we're gonna have to shine the bike. I think that's it. I think yeah, I think we're, I think we're gonna have so, to cancel the bike already. It only I don't know has I only think, lived for I, three minutes. Well, now. wait, wait, I, wait. Hold wait. on. I think yeah. the ad for the bike is we have to prototype it, go on some of these rides. Get drone footage behind us yes. and let the vape ro roll. Yeah. And once the vape starts happening, now yeah. you just, I think I think the ad sounds great, but I mean the ad will probably be better than the bike. I think. Yeah, I mean, and there was a lot of <laughs> ads all that were better than bikes back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We um, what else did we cover? Guys? Working on this. All right. Uh, we covered that. Eddie can't get a bike from GT, but Josh got one. And he leaves it in the shed. He doesn't even use it. That was great. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. Ray, I had uh, an idea. Learned, um, Ray, we I had an idea. Web watched a guy get watched. stuck in a uh, wood chipper. Wood chipper. 
that was the highlight of probably every episode of Factor Freestyle. That may be the greatest story out of all of it, where Gail Webb watched a guy get his arm and leg stuck in a wood chipper. And Caldine went on and saved his life. Yeah. That's gnarly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Crazy. She's also having a park uh, contribute. Um, what is it? Dedicated, dedicated to her. To yeah. Her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a massive pump track and and skate park it's a really cool yeah, the, skate, skate park really cool thing there probably should be i mean she's done a lot for skateboarding and tons. she's done tons. so much she's devoted her life yeah mm -hmm. and then fiola's books he sold how many books did you say <clears throat> he, he sold did. uh 295 oh. books in the at first, 40 41 30 41 dollars and 30 cents a pop. eddie yeah. has a book oh see yes I didn't I, even know Eddie, Eddie has a book, and I mean, I'm pretty nerdy, and on. T I try yeah. to get every BMX book that comes it out. It just came out, or it's not, it's it pre-ordered, I think. It just came out. It's called When I Was King, and it's got a ton of photos. And you and, can, uh, you can order it. You can order it now. It's hmm. on Amazon. He'll autograph it for you and put is, it in a case. Is he wearing, is, is it a picture of him sitting on the yellow GT on the cover? Yeah, with his back to the I, The camera, one I picture I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one that he made a silhouette of, and then yeah, yep, yep, Bob Haro cool. sent him a cease and desist letter. Really? Yeah. Yes. And he showed us that. So we're it's gonna Bob. try and get one for when I do my bike, where I'm gonna have mine. It's gonna say when I was king of Prussia, and it's gonna have a number two in a silhouette. And it's okay to be two. It's okay to be it's second. Okay to, it's okay to be second. It's okay not to be recognized. But here's my bike. Now go to a vape shop and get it filled up and ride and have fun. <laughs> no, I have go a, to I a vape cease and, shop. I have a cease and desist from GT, so I mean. What? Oh, yes. what did you do? A, it, it's it. before, like, I get a cease and desist, like, probably, oh, gosh, I had to go down. I have it framed on the wall in the shop. Um, it's See? probably, like, go. 12. It, it's before, like, they kind of revamp things, you know, because our old, our old shop logo was a G for goods with wings and you know it was a full on bite and we got a season to assist because they're like any word with wings is ours and I'm like well you better go after Harley Davidson and a few other people next and Tinkerbell yeah. Wait, and everyone else a, a word with wings yeah I, I mean I, I thought it, I think it was worth even just getting a season Joe put, put wings on the large ray bike when you design it we're, make sure there's some we're nice putting wings, wings. There's gotta be wings we're putting yeah. we're, we're putting wings on the, and they're big wings because this is a logo. sport yeah. yeah they're big wings smoking it, wings. I don't think it's the like modern iteration of GT it was kind of like right before that you know yeah so. when wings was really there that was their I don't well know, I think Keystone. it was before that like merger Ooh. with Cannondale Got it. Um, okay, guys, I've got to go because it is almost two thirty here. So we've been on for for two and a half hours almost. Shad, we're gonna have Josh come back. So when Josh comes back, I want I want you to be on the call. Because yeah, yeah, just give give me a little heads up, and I'll 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 jump on. I just had plans with my dad this morning. So yeah, yeah, no, I get it. No, that's fine. And at least you got the recap because there was a lot that went down, probably a lot more than we remembered, but you kind of got a taste of what. At least this episode was was able to offer, and we have some work to cut out. So we have Ray's book, Ray's bike, uh, a deal for Martin and Fiola for their bike. Anything else, Joe? Was that was that pretty much what we have left to do? Yeah, I'm getting the wings to put on the factory freestyle logo. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, you're putting them on the factory freestyle logo. Wait a minute, Joe. What's this episode going to be called? The wood chipper. <laughs> the unboxing. The unboxing. The unboxing. We got Josh to go into the shed. He didn't want to do it at first. Yet. He didn't. Oh, so did he go in the shed? He went yeah, in the he shed. Went in and got it. And then well, he got what? He got his tw the twenty. Is his a twenty nine inch? Twenty nine inch. Yeah. Yeah. And then what? He he has two like. I mean, he has his twenty inch bikes. Yeah. Too. Yeah. He showed us yeah. those. Yeah. But we didn't get him to pull it out and assemble it. But at least we got I mean, to see it. When it comes to the repops, I, I mean, I know the cruisers are so popular, but you know, I like I like the twenty inch repops. You know, I do too. That's me, but I mean, I have a twenty inch uh, 
Zolotone Master, and that's my normal bike I ride right now. It makes me happy to have a bash guard. Well, Mike Buff said that his 20, whatever it is, a 29 or 26, I'm not sure what they just came out with, but it's like they, no, can't they keep sell. Them. I know they sell, but it's like, you know, I'm I'm a purist. I like the 20s. I yeah. get the I get the cruiser aspect, but you know. I don't think I'm ever gonna go there. Are you gonna no, go I'm, there? Nah, I probably won't either. Joe, I love the 29. You love the 29. I have, I have two 29s. I have a, a 29 e-bike and a 29 ripper. And Ooh. I wish they had it when I was 14. I would have rode I would have rode a 29 or an AFA contest. I swear I would have. I would have figured it out. Yeah, I, I just I don't know. I like my 20s. The 20, I mean it's freestyle everybody does their own thing you know like yeah but it, when i see some awesome repops like when i saw volker's repop of the pro comp you know yeah. and i think that's a 26 and they might do a 29 i was like dang if you guys did a 20 i would be so on this thing right now yeah joe what are you working on there uh the gt wings that i'm gonna put onto our um logo you just like drawing and it up right now for your hand i didn't get i didn't get to talk no. about going to, going to see what I'm, how are uh, you doing uh, that yeah. i i am i have i have he's artistic skills. he's artistic not, i didn't get a chance to talk yeah. about seeing joe gertola for the first time in 10 years one of the right. greatest what was that ever. about well i do that podcast with his brother mike and so i hadn't <clears> actually physically met mike so warren and i and tom went there to go see him and we went to Joe's house and hung out with him. And um, Joe, Joe showed me the driveway. He learned the backwards uh, bar ride in. He had such an interesting story wow. telling me about when he went to that contest, at the village room in 86, that his sole, his sole purpose for that contest was to beat Scotty Freeman. And he had two tapes in his pocket. And his dad was there with him. And he goes, you look at that. You look at the judges. If they look like they're, they're my age or a little oh. younger, you use this tape. But if they, but if they're young kids, you use this tape. And nice. so they were older. So we used the, um, the song was called Amanda and um, by I think Boston. And, but Joe did a backwards bar ride in that contest. He was probably the first dude to do a backwards bar ride. And he yep. showed me the driveway. He did the backwards. He learned that backwards bar ride in. And you couldn't even push a wheelbarrow across it. It's so small. And he's, that's where he learned how to ride ride there. Didn't RL do a backwards bar ride at that contest too? No. He, he, no. he, he did a backwards rubber ride uh, a few hours after. He did it at um, the next Florida. year's Florida contest. And he did it... Uh, hmm. A couple hours after James McGraw did it as an amateur, I'm gonna have to go back and look. So, not to try to plug what I, what you know, I do that same yeah. thing, and I've, I have the YouTube channel, and I've been going through all of Evan Krakow's old old tapes to save them before you know they get too. There, a lot of the footage is just I did that with not, mine, not usable, and I swear. I'm going to have to go back and look. I posted up RL's run like uh, a month ago, which is run for the he didn't time. Do it in that, he didn't do it at that run. In, um, <clears throat> oh, in, no, it was 80, I'm thinking it was it was 80. 87 uh, RL probably did it because Joe did this. And Joe did this 80, December, December was, of 90 or December 86 at the Velodrome. Was he still on red line in 86 and then he went to general or was he general in 86? General was... Um, 86, he was in red line, 87, he was on. Channel. Okay. I might be wrong. I've been going through so much footage, you know, where you just, especially with 86 and 87 velodromes, it starts blending in. If you ever need any information on that, I'm not even kidding. Just ask me. Cause I know a lot about yeah. it. I have a lot of it on video and I was there. So and he remembers going, everything. And I remember yeah, been, everything. So I've been going through <laughs> Evan's footage. I've been going, I have about 400 tapes just going through me and my friend's old footage. Um, yeah. Just trying to save it all because all those tapes, people don't realize how bad they get, you know? Yeah. I just started hey. posting up. Uh... There oh we go. Oh, my God. That is perfect. <laughs> Will this Joe, get you're us gonna a get that letter you've been hoping for. 
Hell yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I just started posting up 86 velodrome stuff last night. I posted up a Monty Hills run, and that was the first thing I posted up. If you if you name a couple riders in that that rode, I can probably tell you what song they rode to. That's how many times I've watched the video. Maybe, maybe we'll do a factor <laughs> freestyle with that, Dave. Yeah. We could. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, you know, like a quiz show one. You just what's that? We can do a quiz show one where yeah, that would be awesome. Ray would win for sure, hands down. What did you Maybe. hold on? Here's one. I posted up your run, 1995 Marino Valley, your your great comeback. What did you ride to in that? Uh, see, Whoop! There know. it is. I think it was. Whoop! There it is. No, no. Uh, I just watched just it kidding. last night. Out of all my Marino Valley flatland runs, I Beastie Boys, probably Beastie Boys, maybe. No, I think it was Duran Duran. Really? What song? I don't know. I'd have to go look. Girls on film. It might have been. <laughs> I know that. Hungry a lot like of everybody have posted your your run gets the most views out of like Paula Sika, DeGroot, Trevor Meyer from that contest. You're you're uh that's because Dave's sitting at home clicking on himself all night. <laughs> yeah, Dave's I send it to all my friends, Chad, and I say, Hey, you know, this is just me whacking the day, but you know, just just like it. And uh I remember I got dead last in that contest. Your run was pretty good though. And I was riding a GT, Joe. Yeah, you were was, riding a Chrome GT. I was riding a Chrome GT show bike because I was riding for GT doing shows at that point. Yeah, you had a pro freestyle tour. And then the next year in 96, you and I hung out that summer at the in Germany. Right. Now hey, Chad, do, do, do you have footage of my run in Wayne, New Jersey in 1989? Uh, Eben might. I could ask Eben. He might. Because Joe likes to see that run whenever possible. I, I love to see that run <laughs> whenever possible. All right. So I need you guys to weigh in. I want to I want to know. If, it's perfect. If it's perfect. This is sufficiently. It's perfect. All right. It's perfect. Is this. It's the new logo. It's perfect. It looks pretty good. Yeah. And that all right. Is, what about this? All inspired yeah, by, Shad, I, by Shad Johnson right there. He gave so us I, that logo idea. You, you Joe, gave why you do you have one. to go there? Oh man, I just don't. What? Perfect. Well, you think? Do you think that no. this is good it's enough? It's perfect. For, no, for but why to... are you saying cease and desist? We're trying to get Fiola and Martin a repop, and yeah. this is what we're going to build our relationship on. Yep. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. This is exactly yep. what we're going to how we're going to build our relationship yeah. because Eddie is. Eddie's Eddie's gonna he's gonna talk us out of harassing GT. Oh my no, gosh, I don't get your tactic. I just don't. I get it. I totally get it. Shad, what do yeah. you think about this? Don't you think well, this is like scale well, of one to ten? How good is this? It's poking the it's poking the bear. And a half. Well, the here's the thing. I mean, I I don't know. I don't you know in case Jeff Z calls me or something. Uh, I mean, the cease and desist I got was from before that, because when Ben Ward started working there, he told me at a meeting, he's like, he's like, why are you guys going at shops that are like excited about our brand, you know, and our history, you know, because Ben went in, you know, and I don't think the new, I don't think anybody that's in the new thing is really that stressed about it. Cause you know, it seems like since, you know, they merged and brought in like Jeff and Ben, they've, they've embraced more of their history and heritage than what they were doing before you know yeah hey joe if you look at a philadelphia eagles football helmet um it's got those same wings on it so they're gonna have to send one to the philadelphia eagles yeah yeah good CBS we can put wings on anything we want we can put a wing um, we should make i'm gonna make stickers with those wings the large ray smoke bomb bike's gonna have <laughs> wings large on ray it. smoke bomb <laughs> <laughs> you could just have Eddie. You, if Eddie's in the basket, you could just have him wear wings like a cherub. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more excited about Eddie in the basket than my smoke bomb bike. I think just pedaling this around on the old score union with Eddie in there with a little white thing wrapped around his head. <laughs> <laughs> me, me driving him to the to the spaceship. I'm Eddie trying to get the, the I'm trying to, I need to go up and see Scotty because Scotty has footage of Eddie and him doing shows and they're both riding bullies. And I just want to see Eddie and Scotty riding bullies because I think On it bullies, would, that's crazy. It'd be the weirdest, craziest thing. 
That's wild. Okay, guys, I got to go. We're not going anywhere. I know. You guys are going to just continue. This is going to be the yeah, longest we, episode of we don't, Fact we don't need. Unfortunately, Dave, we don't, we don't need you, dude. Sorry. I, I know that. I, I, you know. I know. I'm just, you know, I'm just a poster child. You Whatever was in your head, I, try. I get, I get. No, we're not going anywhere. Where do you gotta go? Where do you gotta go? It's not DoorDash time yet. Good. Dude, I have a list of things to do. I have a, I have a list. This is my list of things I have to do for today. You have a list for everything. I do. Except for the show. He won't, he'll write down everything except for our great ideas during the I was told meeting. I was told not to make a list anymore for the show. <laughs> today Chad, you were. Let's ask Chad. Okay. Chad, here's this t-shirt. Factor freestyle. It's just like nature. It just happens. Sounds like I'm taking a piss or something. I don't know. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Ray, How many what? boxes of t-shirts can we ship you? <laughs> Ray, maybe you need to come up. That was a good one that we thought Ray. I didn't come up it, but... with it. I was explaining something to you guys. I didn't come up with anything. You did. I was you... trying to stop your what happens... about nothing. Well, yeah, we were fake arguing, by the way. I could tell. I know a fake argument. Believe me, I know a fake argument. <laughs> I think it should, just be a, it should just be a picture of you doing a handstand on the bike. In a silhouette. Yeah, fact, well, or just, or, or not kind of like a drawing like that, a Mike D drawing on, on his shirt. Yeah, or a, what about a Gumby in a bodysuit that we could call I, mean, gumby. I think the handstand would look better now here's the thing okay does Pete or dave have better handstands who augustine funny we you should augustine. ask funny you should augustine ask according way better augustine's okay. way better than dave according to all right so this this is true yeah pete had a photo of what he believed was himself doing a handstand on his wall and on his instagram wall he posted on, on instagram wall. yeah well i thought he had it actually framed it was dave but i thought he had it framed no he found house. it on the interweb okay and then he posted on his instagram and he's like yes. go ahead finish he's, the story and he, and he said i was this was better than i ever remember doing them but i'm so <laughs> stoked <laughs> and, and dave i said was like, i'm like Pete, but, um that's me <laughs> And we had him on the show and we asked him about it. Pants. And he's like, yeah, but you got the lights of beach pants and the, you know, and the hat. And, and then, yeah. But the, should we throw in for three best handstands ever? Dave, Pete, Rick Allison? Rick Allison. Yeah, definitely. Chris Lashua? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's Lashua up there. But, was, he's like a gymnast, man. But... Oh, you know, he didn't do a handstand. He did it on, um, he did one like on the press. bars, one on the seat. Oh, he yeah. didn't do it the yeah. way. So oh, sorry. I think the logo, though, doesn't necessarily have to just be a, of a rider doing a trick. I mean, I, I think it's. It's got to be Dave that. with the wings. So Dave gets in trouble with the letter because we Dave, like to see Dave get nervous. <laughs> He's Dave with Dave with the handstand. Yes. As a silhouette with wings. Perfect. I expect it by six o'clock, Joe. To, like minutes. to have two cease and desist for this from two separate yep. companies it's gonna be with awesome. the same picture could be yep. NBD. And if yep. you did like the whole shirt with the SE camo, maybe you could get SE to throw in a cease and desist yep. too. Excellent. And with a with a bully rose coming out of Dave's teeth. Well, then you'd get the guy. That, then you'd get the guy that bought Vintage Bully from MCS to come after you. He yeah. came. I made some bars once, and he got mad at me, and I was just like, "Okay, whatever, dude." <laughs> oh, you could help us get to the right guys. That will get mad at us. I mean, your your motives, Joe. I just don't understand it. They're perfect. I'm good at getting people <laughs> to get mad at me. This is look. All they got to do is send the letter, and then this behavior will stop so there's one way out of this yeah. you could rip off you could rip off the goods crest and i could send you a cease and desist yeah like awesome this, would, this logo you could just rip that off and i'd send you a cease and desist instead of like they're saying gb it could say f or f f, f. f, -O -F. f, -F. <laughs> this is a great idea 
But right, Dave, you, eventually you and I are going to make a brand and I think it should be C and D. C and D. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I, I'm out. It's 2.43 here. No, it's 2.43 for me also. Oh, it's 2.43. Yeah, so it's, it's 2.43. All I'm right, so we're out. Yeah. Great show. If you guys are still listening to this and you want more information, go to factorfreestyle.com. If you want to sign up to be a guest, it's 43 cents. We're open to anyone that wants to join. And hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I'm sorry about Ray. Oh, I'm not supposed to apologize. What are you sorry about? That you, you, they never showed my run. Apologizing. No, I'm, I, you never I was, showed my. You never showed my run today. That's three in a row now. That's not. We did a tribute played. to you. That, but not my good run. Oh, that, so that was your highlights of your career. No. Uh, I don't think it. All right, hold oh, on. Okay. Before we finish, I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Folks, I got I, no time I for read. you guys. I got no time. You know what? I didn't. How come my phone's plugged in, but it's not um, charging? My goodness. Joe, we don't have to play it. We're out of here. We're good. All right. Chad, I'll Everybody. see you next time. Or Chad, we'll start to play Chad, and then we'll fade you. out. Just start to play I'll and we'll you. fade I'll out. I'll see you in another 10 years. Okay. Bye, guys. Peace out. There's watch him there's kick this. Watch it. There. Watch him kick this. <laughs> That's all I wanted. All right. <laughs> all right. Chair. See you, everybody. Right. Bye.